After releasing Mother 3 for the Game Boy Advance in 2006, Nintendo has done everything in their power to prevent you from playing it. Despite selling extremely well in Japan, despite amassing one of the largest cult followings in gaming, and despite the main character being a staple in the Smash series, Nintendo refuses to give Mother 3 an American release. Fans have begged Nintendo for years to port this game. In fact, it's hard to have any Nintendo discourse on the internet anymore without a Mother 3 fan coming out and screeching for a port. And Nintendo knows how badly people want it. Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3! So I decided to play through all of the fully done fan translation myself to see if all the cult following was worth it. And after playing it, what do I think? What do I think about a game so funny it still makes me bust out laughing as a 25-year-old man? What do I think about one of the darkest, creepiest games I've ever played in my entire life where characters are killed off left and right, they touch on surprisingly mature themes like animal abuse, drug use, and the burden of trauma? What do I think about a depressingly real story about a family torn apart by the gripes of capitalism? You're asking me what I think after playing one of the greatest games of all time? Yeah, it's pretty good. This is my full 30-hour journey through Mother 3, cut down into one complete package for you to enjoy. The game's a traditional RPG in spirit, but the story is unlike any other I've played in my entire life. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the masterpiece that is... Mother 3. The game begins and I wake up playing as the blonde-headed Lucas. We're currently on vacation with our mother and twin brother at our grandfather's cabin. Our brother Klaus calls to me saying I need to wake up and that I should come play with the Drago. And after getting changed, I head outside. You're much manlier now. <laughs> Aw, thanks mom. Alright, see ya. Whoa. That was a cool shot. Chickens? Whoa! Cluck cluck, you're awake cluck? Wait, I can talk to animals? That seems cool. Oink oink, what the pig next to me says worries me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today is the day you head back to town. I'm gonna miss you. Wait, where are we going? Oh, I don't want to go anywhere. It seems so fun. There's cows and stuff. And trash. <gasps> Frog! Story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn, memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us, frogs, your memories of everything so far. That is what pe Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, here he is. Oh my god! What the hell is a giant dino? What the hell? What the hell? Wait, what? I thought he was playing with bait. What the hell's going on? What the f What the f Woo! I'm beat. What? I've been play fine with the Dragos all day. Oh, they're friendly. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. You should play too, Lucas. Uh, sure? Here, try ramming into a Drago. All the way back here. Take this, Drago scum! I mean, they're friends, actually. He's gonna die. I'm gonna kill this. Oh, no, he's still alive. He's good. Oh, he liked it, I guess. Okay. Move it! Move out the way! Move the way for the great mole cricket! What the heck? I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! Oh, fight time. Dude, he looks like... That looks like me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold the freaking phone! <laughs> Hold the goddamn phone! Bye, mole cricket. Get what you deserve, boy! Next time we meet, I'll be at the big mole cricket soul stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so I guess animals just like talk in this world and it's like normal. Oh my god, the mole cricket turned into my mom! He stepped on a mo- oh. <laughs> <laughs> She <laughs> What the hell? Lunch is ready, everyone! I made your favorite, boys! Shrimp pasta! Ooh, that sounds good. Lunch, lunch, shrimp pasta. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. Oh, because we're at grandpa's house. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Where's our dad? Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. It's that safe. Well, so it's gonna be not safe, that much I've gathered. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. Hey. Hey, don't be mean to me. I didn't see none of you get the invitation to smash. What the heck? Oh no. Wait, are we playing as the mom now? Dear Flit. Now, if you're wondering why the dad's name is something as stupid as Flit, well, it's supposed to be Flint. However, in Mother 3, you actually get to name all of the major characters yourself. I decided to go with the canon names because I'm a nerd like that, but I guess my A bun is sticky, so some of the characters will be missing a letter or two off their name. Whoopsie, I'm sorry. Why does the music sound so f***y? 
Don't sound good. Mother three. Why is the, oh no, there's rust on the letters. Why are we leaving at night? Why don't we just wait until the morning to leave? Oh, okay, that's normal. Oh my God. What the hell? Is in this music, god damn! What the heck? Squidman. They're throwing bagels! Oh, they're literally dropping bombs. Holy crap! Oh my god! What the hell? This is so f What the f <laughs> Okay, got it. Bombs are being dropped and people are upset about it. Chapter one, the night of the Oh fudge! What the hey? Oh my god! I thought there was a children's game! What the hell? Flit! 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 It's a fire! A fire! The sunshine force is on fire in a huge fiery flamey fire. <laughs> oh, we can place flit now? Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, why not? It's not like the town's on fire or anything. Just take a little rest. Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flit! I mean, it's on fire, so it's not that peaceful. <laughs> ah! The doorknob! Please come, flit, please! Oh, great. Dude can't even open up a door correctly. <laughs> He'll be a great asset. Boris kitchen on fire. Klaus and Lucas and Hinoa will be stuck out there. Oh, crap. Should put a little bit more pep in my step. Who's this guy? Yeah, Flint! The sunshine force is on fire? Oh, well. Maybe I should give you a hand, too. Yeah! Ah, wait. Uh, I'm actually pretty busy. No, I mean, uh, you know how it is. What the hell? Why is this dude, like, 20 feet tall? What the, what the hell? Wait. <laughs> Why is this dude, like, two freaking stories? Hey, letter, can you see the fire from up there? Hey, I said! Hey, I see he's non-talkative as ever. Why is he so tall? I love it. <gasps> no, what are you doing? Keep pushing that. Quit it, quit it. Seriously, stop. Keep pushing that and I'll, and I'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? See, so you did it again. Oh, my God, he's talking about the A button. <clears throat> just, know, just so you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing that. Oh, shoot. I caused him to do that. Oh, God, it was all because of me. What's this? Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell your name. Yes, the name of the person playing the game. Oh, my name? My name? It's a it's a whole lot of uh, nanya. It's a nanya business, man. Nan nanya business. Ah, there's a damn man. Oh, okay, Mr. Batty. I like that his name's Mr. Batty. Oh, and there's a spa here. I see. Like that one thing was saying, I can heal here, I guess. You know what? The forest is on fire, but let's just get a little freaky. You're way too impatient, Flit. You get more, no results. Oh, okay. There's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates. Fa la 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 la. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. What the heck? Oh, it's the guy's dropping bombs. Squid ink. No! He's a kid and a squid. What the hell? What the hell is that? I, I didn't even understand what that was supposed to be. Oh my god, he ran through the fire! From here, we run into Lighter, who's been trying to fight off the bionic bees that the squid men dropped. However, he left his son fuel inside the burning house. Great parenting, Lighter. Flit runs inside and using his insane strength. Oh my god, that was awesome! Dude, Flit is a god! Mr. Flit! Wow! I'm pitch black and covered in soot, but I'm alive! Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flit. Pretty funny that we're just staying black. How is this not washing off the soot on my body? Oh, it did! <laughs> After saving fuel, we head back to the village, and it looks like everyone made it out fine. But it starts raining, which it never does here in Tasmili Village. However, it's then that we realize something much worse. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier, picking mushrooms. When I caught- while I was up there, I caught sight of Hinoa. Then, while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars far off in the distance. Sounds like it might have been a Drago that was roaring. Hey, but we're friends with Drago. After that, I heard what I think might have been scream. Say, Flit. Hino and the kids made it back home, right? It's getting late, so we should all go look for them. Let's get the other villagers to help, too. Oh, this is a nice little town. I don't got a good feeling about this. Gonna be perfectly frank. No good adventures start this way. Pony! Woof, woof! Please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Take... Wait, wasn't his name Boney? Did I just call him Bowie? Oopsie. Bowie, join your... Why did I... <laughs> that sounds stupid. If the dog dies, I'm gonna turn this f game off. See those claw marks? Those certainly belong to a Drago. Bought a Drago claw and stuff like this, enough to leave gashes and rock. They're such peaceful creatures. Oh, look up there! There's a scrap of cloth! Do you see a bit of red right over there? Oh, it's the same color as Hinoa's dress! Oh, no! No! No, it's probably fine. Maybe they rode on the Drago, like, out of here? What is it? 
Is there something on top of this cliff? Oh man, Wes, what are you doing out here? Sorry to say, but there's a rickety old man. There's not a rickety old man could do to help us out. I believe in you, man. Oh, Flint. Don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scared in the cliff face is just too dangerous, but you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it'll help any, but let's get him here so we can try. Bowie, bring my son back here. My son's name is... Oh. This guy's got a name. Duster, they say his name is? Duster? No, wait! Hold on! I just, look, I just looked at what I typed. <laughs> name's Duster. Oh, I mean, it still sounds the same. <laughs> they dragged him here. Oh, Duster, you're so lazy. Why is he, like, walking like he has a limp or something? Duster, long last. It's time to put the thief skills you studied since childhood to the test. Now show us your wall staple technique! Right here, right now! Wait, he's making a ladder? Oh, that's sick. All right, that should do it. Flit, be careful coming up. Oh, is Duster not going to join our party? How is the dog going up the ladder? Explain that to me. What the hell? What the hell? What the? What the hell? They're making a bionic antelope? What are those? Are, are, are they human? What the frick? What are they doing? What are they doing to that antelope? Huh? <gasps> Drop the anarchist cookbook. What are they doing? Uh-oh. What the hell? What the frick? The hell? Oh, this is messed up. What the hell? Oh my god, a reconstructed caribou. What the frick? What the hell is going on? What is wall staple gonna do to him? He threw wall staples. Oh, it poisoned him? Oh, it was pinned him down. I was like, what? He can't move. Oh god. I feel bad. I don't want to attack him. He probably doesn't want to do anything to us. Oh, no. That's probably because I uh, pinned him down. Never mind. Kill him! <laughs> Never mind. Kick him! Oh, my God. Bowie! Oh, my God! He killed Bowie! Oh, my God. I thought he was just like a... I thought he was playing nice. I was trying to be nice to him. Okay. I definitely feel like I bungled this by, you know, trying to be sympathetic. He stabbed with a horn. Oh, my God. Duster died! What the frick? Oh my god, dude. Oh, I could have saved him during that, I guess. It's kind of like Undertale. Okay, I killed him at least. Jesus Christ, that was hard. You won. Barely. Jesus Christ. What the heck was that? Thugs. What the frick was that? What's this book that they dropped? Put me in the thing. Give me mech parts. Okay. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig-like nose mark on the cover. Give it a read. Yeah, of course. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. What the frick? Why is this- like, it sounds like something a kid would say. Probably like emotionally stunted. What the hell? After giving chase to the pigmen, they're successfully able to escape in their pig UFO. With no way to follow them, we begrudgedly head back before we're stopped by someone from the village. We found- oh! Oh, they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Bo. You just hurry and see him. Oh my god, they're alright. Wait, well, why just the kids? Where's Hinoa? Oh, I don't like the fact that they're taking Bowie. Did the mom die? No! Oh, Flit! Duster! This way, this way! Dad! <gasps> Yay! Aww. But where's the mom? I made some innit tea, Flint. Please have some, it'll warm you up. They freaking took Hino or something! Why, why, is her, why was her dress there? What the hell? Flint! <gasps> I'm not sure what to say, but just stay calm and hear me out. <gasps> no! 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 I have good news and I have bad news. Which do you want to hear first? No. Let me start with the good news first. Uh-oh. I picked up a giant Drago fang. It'll make for a great weapon. Figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news... Dude, that wasn't- that, that wasn't very good- good news! The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago fang. It was... In your... It was pierced through your wife's- <gasps> What the f- no! Oh my god! Drago killed our mom? It must have been the pig things. They must be like making them robots or something or... What the hell? 
carefully. Just, just try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because Hinoa risked her life to protect them. That was awful good news, man. That would, that good news did not parallel the same level as the bad news. Clit. What the hell? Oh no. He punching the fire? What the hell? What is he doing? What the hell? Flit, what the hell are you doing? This is no way to cope. Flit. What the heck? Flit, I I'm not sure what to say. P please try to pull yourself together. What the fuck? Oh my god! What the hell? Bro! Flit! What are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching. <gasps> oh my god, Lighter's gonna have to knock him out. What the f***? What? I was not expecting to be Hinoa's funeral. Bro, that was crazy. He just started beating the crap out of everybody there. Dude. And if he had just... Who cares about the sheep if he had just been there? No. Not Hinoa. Dude. What the hell? And by the Drago? It must have been the pig guys, right? Oh. He's in jail. Good. Good. No one's ever been thrown in the Taz Millie jail before. You have the honor of being the first. You gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hinoa. Can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time, but try and get some sleep. Klaus! Dad! It's me. Klaus, I told Lucas to come too. But he's been crying at mom's grave all this time. Wait, he's been in the, the jail cell while they've made mom's grave? Okay, this is kind of weird. Dad, I'm going to leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but... The core? The core might be too hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to get so strong that even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I... Oh, I like Klaus. There's definitely a key in here, isn't there? Inside the apple, there's a hand file. <laughs> Hinoa's burial ended without incident. Oh my god, he didn't even get to be there for the burial of his own wife because he was in jail? Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor t little heart seems like it's about to break into two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Sheriff, not wanted. After all, there's no crime. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Flit, what's wrong? Why the long face? Come stop by our place, we're making nut bread. Why the long face? Well... My wife was stabbed by our pet. What are we, sea otters? Sorry, we're just practicing our comedy routine. Now's not the time, guys. Oh, I got some nut bread. Oh, thank you. This is the bread Hino and I used to make all the time. Oh, shoot. Please cheer up, okay? I'm sure that's what Hino wants to- She died yesterday, man! Bro, it's not like she died like ages ago. It's literally like, like six hours ago, man. Give me some slack. Lit. Oh, this is awkward. Um. P please just forget that you hit me. I I'm gonna forget about it. Compared to your pain, this is nothing at all. I mean, I, I still wasn't very nice. But, um, Ab and Ollie don't hold anything against you, so please don't be worried. They should hold something against me! I did kind of just whack- I, I mean, it's nice of them to say that, but I did kind of whack them with a stick. Sorry, I was so useless. Anyway, this is the village bazaar. If you need anything, just go ahead and take it. Yeah, sure. Oh, he gives it to me for free? Oh, sure. He gives it to me for free. That was nice of him. Where's Klaus? Lucas. Dad, I thought you said anything could come true as long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts. Mom can't even punish me anymore now. You don't want it like this. Poor Lucas, man. Poor everybody. This is so sad. Long time no see. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was going to go see you, but then he never came back. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? Uh-oh. No. Lucas! 
It's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable Drago to try it. No! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go into the mountains to kill the Drago. Oh no, we're gonna lose Klaus too! This guy hated this game, man. Klaus, honestly, think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Well, he said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go, you fool! Well, I guess I gotta go after them. Poor Lucas. Yep, gotta go save my sons. Maybe that was a little too harsh for me. It was! Kid's mom just died, man! Kid, cut him some slack. What do you have to say, million dollar man? Oh, uh, he's so tall and silent. What? The? It's a rock? Oh, it's a lizard. Oh, crap. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. Over those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings, it seems like one bit me right on the head, too. I know where Claus might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Great, what's Grandpa Joe gonna do? When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, what, didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard over there, for instance? We just need to go to the direction it tells us. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no, friends are known as Maggie size. I am a lizard. I will show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you'll go. I, it's gonna say the right. Oh, down. Seems the word Maggie size has made you curious. Maggie size have mysterious powers. I've been protecting something here for a very long time. They are neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. But they are good nature. Sure. Whatever, man. Just trying to go save my freaking kids. Who are these guys? Wrong. I'm the wrong frog. Right! Right, right, right! The right frog! <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, I guess that worked. Are they creating a frog bridge? That's awesome, actually. Oh my god, I have to jump across the frogs, right? Oh my god! Ah! Ah! That was funny. Are you in the mood for a milking? Uh, sure. Do cows like being milked? Ooh, wow, you're good at that. I don't like that you said that. 80 HP? Say whatever you want, I don't give a Whoa, this is cool. Who are these guys? Oh wow, they're real people. I thought they were gonna be like all lizard people. So sleepy. Visitors, magnificent. You simply must have some of this cake. It's scrumptious. This place is freaking awesome. Is that Alec? It is. Good to see you, Snookum. Now let's get you all properly introduced to the mag size. You see, you're in luck. Cause we're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia, then there's Doria, Frig Frigia, Lydia, and then one over there is Mixolydia. And then the only one not here is Locria. You can call me Yonia. Hmm, you can't remember all that? Of course, that's why I introduced you, darling. That not that how it works? Right, Alakipu? I heard you help my grandson Klaus. Yeah, why did you do that? Okay, <laughs> hold on, no, no. Yeah, you should have you told him to go home, man. Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful psi technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. Why don't you stop him? What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you, human. You're one minute and gone the next. You poor things live a hundred years, if that. That's a blink of an eye to us, Magsize. Why would I not bother to care such sorts lie? Okay, maybe you guys aren't so nice. Hold on, I gotta head out. <laughs> Just tell me where Klaus went! The boy headed for the dragon Drago Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you might just catch him in time. There's nothing to worry about, Flit. But you're not gonna get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Yeah, smile more. That usually works. Yeah, okay, but you still seem pretty tense if you ask me. That's because you never tell somebody whose wife died several minutes ago to smile more, Alex. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's the baby Drago. Oh no, or maybe that's the mama, I don't know. This is one of Klaus's favorite shoes. Oh no, no! What? The tree? The tree! Oh my god, he's a funky little fella. Oh my god, I love this guy. Crap! Klaus's shoe! Oh my god! The Dracos ate him! Klaus, we're here to rescue you! Where are you? Oh no... <gasps> oh, I knew it! I told you! I- I called it! I freaking called this, man! They made him evil! 
That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about all this. Oh, I knew it. No. So the pigmen killed. It wasn't Drago's fault. Poor Drago. Oh, no. The Mecha Drago. Okay, well, I need to heal because I didn't do that right before this. I guess I'll probably have to use the Fang. Yeah, I was going to do that. Don't worry. Pierce the Mecha Drago's tough hide. The Mecha Drago let out a howl. Did that, did that do something good? I, I can't tell. Oh my god, 63 damage. That did make a huge difference. Oh, I'm going to destroy this guy. I don't want to kill the Mecha Drago, though. It's not his fault. Shut flames out! Oh my god! Okay, you know what? Maybe I do want to kill this thing. Oh, this is sad. I know that, like, I'm going to win this fight, and I know that I'm going to kill the Drago, and he, there's nothing he can even really do about it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't know that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe I don't know that. Jesus Christ. One last... Oh, crap! Oh my god! I'm dying! Oh, no! Ah! 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 Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, no! Oh, no! Come on, man! This is never right. Oh, oh, never mind. I didn't. Nope, he's fine, actually. What the hell? How? Did he eat? Oh, oh, no, I did. No! No! Oh, I feel bad. Oh! <gasps> They didn't get to the little baby. Flint, don't do it! That won't solve anything. You'll only make its child go through what Klaus and Lucas had to. Alec, you're kind of spitting. You're right. Oh my god! The freaking baby bodied us. Oh, the baby's still a regular Drago. <gasps> no! The Drago's crying! <gasps> It is possible that until now, the people of Taz Millie Village had never known sadness. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who had would share with those who had not. However, it now appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion, and why? And where? Could the missing- he's right in front- he's, he's right there. Okay, but where could the missing Klaus be? The mysteries continue to pile up. So the tale first begins as a tragedy. Did Klaus die too? No way. And the- and the Drago? This is too much, man. What the hell? This is way too much. Klaus and the freaking Drago died? You know his burial ended at- oh, what? This- why did we go back in time? Are we gonna play for Duster's perspective now? Chapter 2, Thief Adventure. What the hell's going on? Duster's perspective on all this? Duster, I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I taught you. You will sneak into the Osho castle. There you will find a certain important item and bring it back here. Oh no, Lucas. Oh, Duster, I tried, but I just can't get to sleep. Aww. That's Bowie's all sad. Oh, pardon me. I wasn't paying attention. This man is a monkey? We're in a terrible hurry, if you excuse us. Now, come now, little monkey. We should be off. What was that all about? Duster! If you promise not to tell anyone, I'll know you're in a cool secret. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's some money inside. Ever heard of money? You know, yeah, I was actually wondering what money was, actually. Never had an in Tam's Lily before, but apparently... An era of money is about to start. Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, you took a- you sold the pigs? And then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. Seems pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely- Oh my god, wait, did he give the pig to the evil pig people? I'm gonna hide it in this well here. Oh my god. The secret is just between you and me. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the well immediately. He's- 50,000? I don't know if that's a lot, actually. Oh, what? Lame. Oh my god! They're dropping bombs on like- Why? For what reason? Okay, mister, excuse me. Oh my- What the hell? That lobster had legs! Okay, no time to focus on that now. Duster's like the coolest character in this game. Though his story doesn't seem particularly relevant to everything else. I'm the friend of the guy who's going through trauma. In important. 
From here, Duster sneaks into the castle to grab the treasure, but on the way, he bumps into this girl who drops her pen. We head into the back room and find the noble spittoon, and since it glows, Duster presumes this to be the treasure. Duster goes back to his dad, Wes, who calls Duster a complete moron and says that what he grabbed is not the treasure. However, Duster tells Wes about the pink-haired girl he saw drop the pendant, who Wes believes to be the princess of Osho Castle, whatever that means. But on the way in... Oh. That's a tank. Oh my god, they're storming the capital! I mean, castle. <laughs> What the frick is that guy? I mean, the pig guys I know, but who's this other dude? The hell? What the heck? That seems debaucherous. What the frick, Clayman? Oh, wow, I kind of nailed that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no, it didn't work. I was like, this is f***ed. Ew. That's kind of... I mean, I know he's just... Play, but oh no! Oh no no! He has a gun! He has a Glock! Duster, this is embarrassing. Turn the other way. <gasps> Do it! Yeah, Wes! <laughs> Don't look now! I'm not gonna stick my butt out or anything like that though. Bro, he is also not doing it all what's on the wall. But he's freaking tearing it up. Uh, uh. Yeah! Oh, damn! Hold up! That's not what's written on the wall. Like, not even close. Not even, not even a little. The princess! Wes? Is that you, you old geezer? Oh, princess! So it was you! How this brings back memories. Whatever. Got my leg caught in this stupid trap. Can't afford to die here, so I just think about cutting my foot off. Bro, how did he get a bear trap off her leg? That seems preposterous. A strong, wise, and rather masculine girl. Kumatora. Though I think it's only fitting that we we skip a letter in there. <laughs> As with everybody else. Here we go. Come Tora! What are you doing? Let's go! Where are we going? Where are you headed, princess? Isn't it obvious? You guys are here for it too, ain't ya? Hey, Geezer's son! Escort me, will ya? Jeez! Come Tora joined our party. Nice. Worm snake! That's what I call my Dinger! Oh, there's brooms. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, there are brooms! What the hell? They were joking! Ah! <laughs> Sweet lord! What? Oh. Oh. I was just joking around. Yes, here we are! Big, sexy egg. It's the antithesis of pigs. Eggs. Because pigs can't lay eggs. This is where I hid it. Duster, this. This is the certain important item I instructed you to bring back. It seems to be known as the egg of light or the hummingbird egg. Oh, I was close. Truth be told, not even I know anything about this egg. The hummingbird egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Or something like that, supposedly, apparently. <laughs> so simple. If this wound up in the wrong hands, the lid and the secrets would come undone and... Oh, okay, so the pigs are about to come in? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, oh, no. Bad things would happen. Calamity is hidden away in this egg. Not even I know. But doesn't it seem kind of ridiculous that the egg of a tiny yellow hummingbird holds all of the world's secrets? Let me put my leg on it. Indeed, quite ridiculous. But what's most ridiculous of all is this moron standing right here. Duster. This egg gives us such a thick scent of secrets that's so concentrated it almost reminds me of condensed milk. Yeah, you couldn't even catch a single whiff of it. You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that. Because he really is a moron, he wouldn't understand anyway. Based. Actually based? Anyways, we can't let the bad guys get their hands on this egg. Okay. Here comes the bad guys. Speak of the deal. Oh my god. There's so many claiming. Geezer. Duster. Let's get out of here! Princess, please wait! Appears to be non sin there nonchalantly, but I place traps around the eggs. Oh. Oh no. Huh? Traps? Wah! No! No! Oh no! Where are we? My house? You and this, especially this tough girl, got washed up down the river. Good thing my dad was there, because I would have. Pretended not to see you if it just been- Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I see. Thank you, Fuel. Kind of. Did you find that moron with us too? You mean Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big- Ew! <laughs> that moron, I mean Duster, taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. Hey, little girl. Hey, mister. Are you a friend of Duster's? Yes. I bet you're pretty popular with the girls, huh, mister? Hold on, Al. I think that's a miss, not a mister. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, she's, she's, uh, whatever they call it. The, the magic people from before. Whatever it's called. Where the hell did the guy go? Uh, oh. <gasps> He's in the will. 
What the 5,000, 50,000 G? Old man Wes, where's Duster, that scumbag? He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the will, and now it's gone! Which means Duster stole it! That was my money! We've already asked a thousand times. What is money, anyway? What is my- <gasps> Flit! And Bowie! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh, damn. Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves! But they never did anything before, because we never had anything to steal in our village! But we all know they'd steal good stuff like money if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. Oh my god. Come Torres came to didn't come to play. Who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence! No violence! The villagers and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if a grand scheme of sorts is hidden behind the actions of a suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. And what become of Lucas? The cry- Oh my god, bro. Poor Lu- He's, His mom died, man! <laughs> Cut him some freaking slack! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What became of little Lucas? Oh, oh, do you want me to change your diaper? Oh, his mom is dead, man! Jesus Christ! <gasps> the monkey! What the hell? Oh my god! What the hell's going on? What the frick was that? The suspicious peddler! Oh, are we gonna play as Lucas now? I've, I've been, been waiting, waiting for this. this. All right, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then this girly monkey is as good as dead. No! He's in love. Do what you're supposed to do, and you'll get a nice, happy reunion later. Understand? Both of you. No! And this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful! Oh my god! These people are- I'll say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy a little journey with me, just remember these two things- Why does this monkey speak English? You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave, and always act nice and friendly. Got that? Good boy. The second thing to remember, never disobey my commands. Wait, we're gonna play the monkey? We're gonna play as the monkey now? If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. You got it? Do what I say and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. <laughs> oh, what's that defiant look in your eyes? Dance! Dance. Do as I say! Oh my god, I was trying to dance, man! What the hell? Why are these people so evil? What is this all for? Just so you, just so you guys are demented. A bunch of... What the hell? That wasn't necessary at all! Hey there, stupid monkey! You only get to cry when I tell you. No crying on your own time. It's punishment time! No! You wound up being taken with facade. Y yay, I guess. Poor little monkey. Hey, uh, I saw everything. Be strong. Endure it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday. To help that day come, will you save your game? I can't believe I'm playing as a monkey right now. That's not what's supposed to happen. A cockroach! I want to chew it. Oh my god! Why is he so, like, detailed? Duster, oh pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Before this meant nothing to me, but now, it's important! Come on now, little monkey, we should be off. That's why the monkey was staring at us. Duster! Please save me! Me and my girlfriend! But the whole time- Duster, the secret is just between you and me! Oh, so then Sauls was the one who took the monkey, the, the money, monkey money. How much is the lodging fee, my good man? Oh, uh, fee? There is no how much here. Please be free, feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. Still, it's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I, I guess it's okay then. Well, I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. <laughs> I hate this guy. I'm gonna go where I want to go. Oh, you know, 
I'm thinking about going to the, I'm thinking about just heading to bed for the night. Oh my god, he sleeps with his little booty up. The next morning, Facade goes into town and gives a speech about how the world is falling apart. Robotic animals in the forest, fires, bombs. Their perfect little town is withering away. So like this dancing monkey, they deserve happiness. Most people in Tasmalia are uninterested because, well, they've already found pure happiness. Why would they need anything else? However, a couple curious souls say they're open to learning more. So we go and deliver them happiness boxes, which are just TVs, I think. After that, Facade heads over the castle to catch Duster. And Souls looks at the writing on the walls and learns the secret castle dance for himself, getting past the hidden door. Inside, we encounter this. What the frick is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is little big bro, man? What am I looking at right now? Oh no, he looks like he's been touched by God. Little big bro would never laugh. He only screams in fear. After that, Facade learns that Duster got away with the hummingbird egg, yells at a bunch of pig masks, and then rejoins our crew outside the well. My Goodness, I simply can't believe that someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Perhaps it's true then. Perhaps this village really is starting to become cursed. You can't allow Tasmili Village to become a dismal hive for evildoers to run amok. We must all seek happiness or this village will be in grave danger. <gasps> Come Tora and the monkey. We're communicating. Oh, what's this? So you're fond of a nice lady here. Hey, stupid monkey, it seems you still don't understand the situation you're in. Hey, monkey, we're here to rescue you. How did you know that I was a good monkey? That cheap bastard's asleep. Hurry here. Yay, monkey. Yay, the monkey's safe. You're safe now. Don't know how you got involved with that lie spewing fraud. We must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess, this is a great deed you've done. <clears throat> Now let's go find that lazy moron, Duster, and that egg he has with him. Hey, monkey, I stole this doohickey. <gasps> Here, monkey, Did you destroy it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no, can it not be destroyed? Oh, no, he just stepped on it while I was destroying it, I guess. Well, we, I want to come with you guys. I gotta, I gotta save my girlfriend. All right, monkey, now you can go wherever you want. You're free. You got something keeping you from running away? What is it? My lady monkey. My lady monkey. Oh, your girlfriend's been kidnapped? Or monkey napped, I should say. <laughs> monkey napped. <laughs> Damn, that cheap bastard. He screwed up. Oh, did you call for me? I happen to be that very screwed up cheap bastard that you speak of. To think I would get to, he to meet you here of all places, Mrs. Princess Comtora. Geezer, monkey, you ready? One, two, three. Oh. <gasps> It's when we run. Got it. No, she didn't run. Oh, is she gonna run now? No! Damn, they're fast. Uh-oh. Hijack the tank! Odds that it's... Oh, is it Flit? Is it Flit? Oh, it's not Flit. Oh, we're surrounded. It's attacking! Oh, no. Oh, we actually have to fight the tank? We're supposed to fight the tank? It's a monkey and a girl who has kind of magic against a freaking tank. I don't think this is going to go super well for us. <gasps> we killed it. Nice. Somehow that worked. <laughs> Orc tank was wrecked. Oh, no. They have reinforcements. Oh, no. It's facade. No. No. We were so... Oh, there's another one. Oh, God. Now then, Princess Kanthora, may I ask you behave and do as we say? Uh-oh. <gasps> Lucas! Uh-oh. Oh, no! Are you gonna cry? I'm to death, Lucas! Oh, no. Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid! Stupid kid, stupid kid! Huh? <gasps> Is he gonna summon a Drago? <gasps> the Drago! Oh, my pork! What a What's a baby Drago doing here? You, baby Drago, get out of here! Get lost, stupid kid, stupid kid. Lucas is soulless stare. What the hell's going on? Huh? The Mecha Draco! Oh my god. No way. The Mecha Draco's on our side. Oh, no, it's the other Draco. Oh no, it's the Daddy Draco. Or maybe the Mommy. I, I wasn't ever catch. Oh my god. Yeah, get him, Draco! I like how Lucas just like knows none of those three people. I guess he knows Wes, but still. He's like, nah, I trust these guys. Yeah! Sick him! Uh! Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was gonna eat him. That would've been awesome. 
I guess you living was just one big old facade. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he jumped out of the tank! Hey! Get back here, you! Wah! Yeah, get him! Yeah! Lucas didn't say a single word, and he saved the day. I knew the Dragos were our friends. I knew it! Even though they killed our mom. Oh my god! What? Hey, well, we could've used that. That would Okay, you know... The spirit was there! The spirit was there, Drago! <laughs> That's all that really matters. Are we gonna play as Lucas now? That's what I've been wanting this whole time. Lucas! I heard you've done no nothing but cry- Oh my god, dude! His mom died! <laughs> Cut some slack! But what you just did just now was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. Oh, right. Gotta say hi. Hi. Nice to meet you and thanks. You didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. Probably a little late for it now, but you should probably ask this geezer what's going on. I'm certain Claus will come back sooner or later. I'd like you and Flit and the others to work together to protect our village. Oh, and I intend to help too, of course. What little I can, at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and the search for that moron, too. Lucas. Don't know why, but somehow I get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey. Let's go. His name's Salsa. Or Sals. <gasps> yeah! 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 Theater reaction when Sals does a backflip. <laughs> Taz Millie Village is now transforming exactly how the newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realized that things were good and right before being tossed away one after the other. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows even stronger. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The once coddled Luke, his mother died! <laughs> is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. <laughs> Cut the man some slack, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I knew it! I knew this would be the Klaus chapter. <gasps> Klaus and Lucas. Aww. I'll always help my little whiny bitch baby brother Lucas. <laughs> Aww. Where's Flip going? He abandoned him. Wait, is this years later? Is Lucas supposed to be like grown up now? Oh wow, he look older. Am I crazy? He looks like way older now. Am I insane? He grew he grew up. Am I crazy? Am I crazy right now? Also, did that say Club Titty Poo? Club Titty Poo? Hold the phone. How how do you get it? Three years later, oh my god. Klaus still isn't home? My god, there's been insane economic prosperity in just three years. Boney better still be alive, okay? If Boney died in those three years, I'm gonna smash my controller. No! Why is he still here? Why is his grand plan, like... Okay, I don't understand Fabsoul. Not Fabsoul, what is his name? I don't remember. I'm an old guy now. Oh no. Wow. Too bad my mom did. So in those three years, we really didn't put together like, oh hey, the pig people were the ones who genetically modified the Drago, and then the pig people are partnered with the, the, the peddler, so we probably shouldn't trust the peddler. Am I crazy? Didn't we kick the peddler out? Why is he in town? Where the hell is- There he is. There he is. Boney or Bowie, I forgot. I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Wait, Bowie's gonna take us for a walk? <laughs> Bowie! I missed you, buddy. Things are awesome. Mom is dead. Brother is gone away. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. Be given in units called DP Dragon Power. You can also use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. So this is Taz Millie's famous lightning house. It really is incredible. It was definitely worth coming all the way to see. Wait, the pig? What? You must really be love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all this. Huh? Huh? Whoa, Tazmili looks so- What? What? Wait, didn't we drive you off? You look a little down in the dumps. A happy box could really change your life, you know? This frog is in a car. This- This is, might be the best moment of my entire life. This frog's in a car. This fr- This- Who taught him- who who taught this frog to drive? How can he... 
How is it that he's able to drive? This frog is driving a car, and he waits at intersections. He respects traffic law. How is that? So now these shops take money. Not like the good old days. My dad's working over at the factory? There's a factory? Did you think so much beauty would only blossom in only three years? Huh? What? Am I talking about myself? No, of course not. I'm talking about Taz Millie. This place looks like crap. I miss old Taz Millie. This place sucks. Whoa, Yato's a hotel now? Oh, no! Economic prosperity! You're a non-staying guest, yes? You should know who I am! My mom died in this town! I'm kind of a local celebrity around here. Special nursing home for senior citizens. Old man's paradise. This does- What the f- Why is the music so nice? It's a shit hole. This is how you treat the elderly? This is awful! Oh, hello, Lucas and Bowie, too. Your grandfather's upstairs in the room on the far left. Who's my grandfather? I have a grandfather? My grandfather's a frog? Oh yeah, I forgot about my grandpa. I forgot about Alec. Uh oh hey, Lucas, how you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times. We can impossible to live in anymore. I know it's, entire, it's hard to imagine lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on, one million times? Do I just not talk to my grandpa anymore? Who's this guy? That is simply been, I'm in the game, guys. <laughs> Too, oh, too much lightning lately. The lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, I can't imagine there being such a thing as artificial lightning. I can. Oh, Lucas. It's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Flit is always offering flowers. Aw, poor Flit. Aw. Poor guys. Wait, where'd Flit go? Where the hell did he go? Come on, Jackie. Get real. Can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen him hiding her hair of Duster since he appeared th disappeared three years ago. Oh shoot, Duster's still gone. It's gotta be him. Why are they in prison jumpsuits? Come on now, that's just nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boob. <laughs> that's the factory. The bass player there looks kind of like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. Uh-oh. Well, time to go investigate that, I guess. Oh, it's the magpies. Ma ma mag ma magic guys, whatever they're called. Ah, you caught me stark na- Oh, my god. Oh, 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 uh, okay, I don't- uh, I don't know about this. I'm Yona, one of the mag- 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 magic pies. Are you here too because you've overused your PSI too? Oh, you've never heard of PSI. That's odd. I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Wait, just in- Uh oh. Yeah. All right, let's just uh look. I'm like already like five hours in on this video, guys. So let's just pretend that didn't happen, okay? Uh, I I can't stop this. The train's already going. Boulders are going. I already have the title and thumbnail figured out. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, okay, guys? Learn life up A, healing A, offense up A. Oh, okay, sick. Lastly, power weld from deep within his heart. PK nuts. <laughs> no, this was not the time I wanted to learn about PK nuts. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You can use PK nuts. Not even magic size can are mad magi size are able to use it. You sly devil you. Oh that is okay. Um that was a lot for me to take in. But I got PSI now, and that's all that's important. Hey you suspicious fellow, what are you doing here? What's that? You wanna go to Club Titty Boo? That's a special place for workers here to go to relieve their daily exhaustion. It's not for people who don't work here. If you absolutely have to go there, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Sure. The job here is to transport claimant. Find a bunch of claimant in the area below. Some of them will be out of energy, so you gotta bring them back up here. Bring them up one at a time. After you bring them up three up, you're done. Bro, I'm like seven. Hold on, dogs have to dog things to keep them busy. Dog, go on ahead and do what the boss dog says. Oh my god. What the hell? This is so dark. What? No, Bowie! They got him working! It's nice to exercise once in a while. Oh, okay. Well, then he likes it. This seems like f***ed up that they're just like these claimant that we just make do a bunch of labor. It's like, sorry to bother you. It's like, what this guy? Moo. Oh my god, are you serious? I have to do this all the way back? Go. There's the claimant. Hydraulic press him? Oh no, they're actually gonna bring him up. Oh, okay, that's nice. What the hell? What the f? This is so f 
Shut up! What the hell? I mean, I guess it's not. It's just like clay that they reanimate. Uh, this is so weird. What the hell? Gone really late. Go to Club Titty Boo and have a good time. Good job today. Why do they let children go into this club? Whoa there! Haven't seen you around here before. We don't allow pet. No, that's my doggy. I worked a hard day's work. Come back some other time. Neckbeard and skinhead. Why is my YouTube live chat here? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, isn't that the guy who had a dog with him just a minute ago? And some dog like dude. Get lost, you kid looking guy, and I got you dog looking dude. <gasps> Wait, Violet. Is that Princess What's Her Face? It isn't. The underage smelling poo and the dog smelling wolf. I take it you've been mistaken for an underage kid and a dog yet again. <laughs> Violet. Shh, listen, but don't change the expression on your face. I know I'm dressed in this crappy girly outfit, but it's me. Come, Tora. I knew it. We met at Sunshine Four. Of course I remember. Explain everything later. Put on a smile, will ya? Why did you never try and come and find? I don't live too far away. Okay, the next DMC song is about to begin. Please go in and find some empty seats. <laughs> okay, we got to see the show. Is the monkey gonna be here? Who the hell is that bull? None of these people look like liquor. OJ. OJ's here. Tone to Gus, are you enjoying the show? So here's one last song for you. Here's King P's theme. Hit it. Ooh. Ooh, the Bossa Nova theme cover. Hello, Dolly. That was sick. Shout out King P. Woof, woof. My ears are ringing. I know that kind of sucked. This way, this way. Oh. <gasps> Some way or another, I wound up with this fancy room. Anyways, go shower, you two. There's even a hot spring in there, if that's more your thing. We can talk afterwards. Sure, why well, don't- I'm not smelly. Why do I have to shower? After showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling in the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird egg from O'Shea Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DMC bands appears to be an amnesiac duster. And they discussed- Why didn't this- Why didn't they just write this? What is this? And then discuss the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tasmili Village. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they all knew too well. I want to be stronger. It was at this time that Lucas truly began to have such feeling. Why did they just write that scene? It, it's not even like a very taxing scene. Okay, that was kind of weird. Why did they just write that scene? And that's how I finally managed to sneak myself- What? No, I want to know that! I want- What the heck? But we'll never find out what happened to the hummingbird egg until Duster regains his memory. This rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Wait, are they pigs? Like, they're supposed to be cops? Is that the joke? Is that kind of like a thing? Okay. I, I, am I crazy? Am I crazy for this? Lucas, see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe I'll remember something if he sees you too. Climb up this ladder and go through the attic and get to Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct way of getting there, but you're less likely to get caught. Why don't you come with us? I'll get all the DMC MC members together. I need to explain the situation to them too. See you in a little bit. What's the situation? That was such a weird scene. The guitar's an enemy. No! <laughs> I was like, I didn't expect that. No! Oh, oh no! How could I have ever seen that coming? The guitar's attack! Oh no, the guitar killed Bowie! Oh my god, this thing's gonna kill me! What the hell? These mice are playing something. Mahjong? There's a problem here. These mice are playing Mahjong. Why? Why are they playing Mahjong? Tonda Gosa. So you're the one trying to run off with Lucky. Tonda Gosa. What is Tonda Gosa? Who are you? He's the one I was just talking about just now, Duster. Oh, that's the one that's supposed to look like Duster? Oh, I guess he just have the same pants on. Huh? Duster? True that I don't even remember my real name, but I've lived my life as lucky for years now. I had absolutely no memory of whatsoever before I came to Club Titty Boo. I had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. But for some reason, I was clutching a strange egg with a great care. All I knew was that the egg was really important for some reason. I knew I absolutely had to keep it safe. So I looked for a place to hide it. And then, after walking and walking and walking, I buried the egg inside a big dirt. Why would you bury it? Unknown Valley. That's it, Duster. The egg we worked all so hard to protect is there. Let's go there right now. But am I really Duster? If I am this Duster person, that means I have to leave the band, right? Duster or Lucky? One of them will cease to exist after today, right? It turns out I'm Duster. What happens to DMCMC? What if I continue to live as Lucky? Then what about the egg thing was all about? What should I do? I just can't decide. Of course you can't. All you can do is ask Destiny. Destiny, huh? Why is his name OJ? <laughs> Couldn't they go with anything else? Let's ask Destiny. We have a way. The same thing we've always done whenever we weren't sure what to do. Jam session. Jam session. Stone sheet clippers, huh? What? That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, rock, paper, scissors? Are you ready? Yes. If I win this, Lucky will stay in the DMC. If I win, Lucky will go with you. Lucky, you cool with that? 
I want to trust in destiny. If it's my destiny to go, then I'm sure I'll win. Two clippers. What? I'm gonna do sheet. Oh, do I trust him though? I mean, I was gonna go scissors anyway. Did he lie? What? What the heck happened? I see, so this is destiny. Oh, he threw. Guess Lucky probably is- Oh, He threw! He threw. Oh, Don't worry about anything else at all! I think Duster hid the egg in the unknown valley, which means I have no reason to stay here anymore either. Alright, time to get out of these girly clothes. Is she just gonna- Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. Lucky. No, Duster, I guess. You were the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. Aww. They're in love. Aww. I hope we meet again someday. He wanted him to follow his true destiny. That's so sad. Don't go forget the time you spent with us, you dig. He's leaving behind his family. He doesn't even know that he is Duster. I still don't remember anything, but I'll come with you guys anyway. Okay, let's go. I feel like we should probably call him Lucky, right? He's not really Duster anymore, but all right, whatever, whatever. Logistics, logistics. Where's Comtora? Oh, she already got changed. Took care of the bodyguards. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Dun -ba -dun -ba -dun -ba -dun. Okay, now maybe the combat will actually be not just spam A a lot and hope you win. Alright. Gang, let's walk out of here. Thank God we have Comtora. What is it? There's someone on the stage. Oh? <gasps> is it the big pig? Oh no. <gasps> They're playing a send-off song! No! This is so sad! <laughs> bon voyage! Amigo, oh guy in the sky, please grant a gift to our friend who's about to set out. How much time we wasted laughing together, but guy in the sky, oh how we love that wasted time and those help us smile. Bon voyage, bon voyage, amigo. The text went a little fast there. I feel bad. Maybe you should stay, Duster. The band needs you. No. When he had nobody, they were there for him. Aww. They taught him how to play the bass. Aww, Duster. I feel so bad. The band loved him. Tonda Gosa. Thanks, guys. Wait, what? It was a wig? I was wondering. Tonda Gosa. His leg is still bum after all these years? Dude's got serious leg problems, man. Didn't heal at all? Let's go to Unknown Valley. All right, how the hell do I get there? What? The lightning strikes aren't real? Who could have seen this coming? I guess it wasn't really supposed to be like a twist. Tower of Thunder. That's what I call my pe- <gasps> Are we gonna play as a little clay man? Duster, what did you do? We're lucky. He put the egg inside the clayman? That was a terrible idea! Why would you do that, Lucky? Who the hell? What the hell? It's a shark kangaroo? What are they doing? Why were they doing, like, mech stuff and then all of a sudden they just turn to, like, fusing <laughs> together? What the hell is that? Lion spider? What the frick? A reconstructed lion? Ew. The clay man is still here all this time later? Put it inside of the freaking clay man? Yeah, this is it. I hid the egg inside the mud figure. He's definitely not gonna be in there. Yes, it's still- Oh, it is? Oh, wow. <laughs> Doctor, are you okay? You didn't seem okay. Yeah, I- I'm fine. Was that lightning just now? Phew, that was close. Clay man is alive! Oh no. My egg. What the hell? What the hell? Oh. Why would you put it inside the clay man? Oh no! Where is the clay man? This is a big tower. Does nobody think to go over here? There's literally a giant lightning sign on it! No one put it together that this might be the source of the lightning strikes? I guess it's supposed to maybe be a metaphor for the fact that like... Stuff like this happens in our society all the time, and none of us do nothing about it. Or maybe just bad writing. I don't know. Let's figure it out together. Okay, nuts! Get nutted on. That sounded- never mind. Shut up, sorry. <laughs> hey, do you take your mask off when you go to the bathroom? No, I leave it on. Why? Do you take yours off? You go through all that trouble in the bathroom? Then putting all through the trouble, putting it back on when you're done? 
Yeah, I go through the trouble. I mean, there is a place to hang your mask after all. Wait, so they are just pig masks, actually? I thought they were pigs that were just, like, mutated. No, they're actually just pig people. Sir, I wasn't aware you were here- What? Please forget my rudeness! Who? What? Wearing such a shabby outfit will set a bad example- to the men, Commander. What? Here, I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Put them on right away, sir. Likewise for the folks accompanying you, too. What? What the hell is going on? What? Alright, that's way better. Looks like there's some sort of misunderstanding, but it's perfect for us. Now let's go find that thing before they figure out who we are. Why do they think we're a commander? I'm a small boy. No! Clayman! No! Follow that truck! A heist is in order. Oh, crap! We can't let it get away! Go! Surely a man can run as fast as a truck. What are you doing? Watch where you're going. Uh, oh no, we're gonna have to kill this guy. It's you, Commander. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Okay, the Commander must be a little boy, I guess. From the looks of it, it appears that you've mistakenly threw something into the garbage. If you're headed for the garbage dump, please follow the truck in this. Be careful not to slip and get into an accident. All right then. Ooh, this music. <laughs> oh. Charge? Freaking my Tesla? What the hell is going on? Turn it on. Sure. Is this charging my pork bean? Is my pork bean about to explode? Yeah. Should have seen that one coming. The clay man. Feel bad for him. Yes! The hummingbird egg! Nice. All is right in the world. We got back the egg. The egg of light. We still don't even know why we need this thing, right? <gasps> oh my god, his memories! Are they about to come back? Yay, Duster! Now I see. I really am Duster. I'm Duster. <gasps> he remembered! Guys, I'm Duster! I remember now, I really am Duster! Yahoo! I finally have my memory back! Yay! Awesome, we did it! Yep, you're Duster. 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 I keep calling you that as many times as you want. Now don't you dare lose that egg again! Aww. Woof, woof, woof! You've been saying, you've always been Duster. You just forgot. Aww. Bowie. Oh, this is not good. Who's this? Oh, no. Commander! What are you doing goofing around in a place like this? I'm the commander. I can do whatever I want. Please hurry to the generator room. Uh, is this gonna be like a sabotage sort of situation? A little, is that, that's definitely an enemy. Of course it is. Oh my god, he's a little battery man! He's so cute! What the heck? You're so cute, aren't you, little man? <laughs> you may think you're a good impersonator, but you can't fool my eyes. <gasps> no! Not this guy! Why is he still in his peddler outfit? He didn't think to ever get changed out? Alright, uh, right, whatever. You're the very definition of the phrase, like a moron flying into a flame, Lucas. Oh, I was lured here! The pain and woe I went through after that Drago sent me flying. I really must repay that favor in full. <laughs> Uh oh, we kind of got boned here. <laughs> Everyone knows pig mass can't use letters. Why does he keep eating those bananas? Do you honestly think you can escape? Why did they not think to just you know follow us up the immediate pathway that we went? Uh, I don't understand. Suspicious individuals detected inside generator room. Activating defense system. Repeat. Activating defense system. All personnel would be nice if you could evacuate immediately. Uh oh. There's gonna be a big lightning guy. Whoa, no, I was way off. What the hell? <laughs> Mr. Genitor. I I did not see this coming. I'll, I'll give it that. Get messed up, bro. Easy. Freaking easy. Serious error. This occurred in the generator. All personnel evacuate immediately. Repeat. It would be nice if you'd evacuate immediately. You. How dare you destroy this vital system of ours? Uh, gotta go. Why didn't you follow me earlier? You pathetic fools. There's nowhere to run now. <laughs> You've been a real thorn in my side, you know that? What's the funniest of all is that happiness could have been yours if you simply stayed in Tasmili and lived quietly without a care in the world. Thunder Tower is no longer usable, but this is the perfect chance to eliminate the whole lot of you in one fell swoop. It's a bit much for three lousy rats, but our king just loves being flashy. So I decided that you and Thunder Tower can finally disappear together. What? Huh? Oh no! Oh, big ship! Well, looks like my ride is here. Later days, pals. Is he gonna trip on his own banana? 
Okay, all set. Destroy Thunder Tower. <laughs> Called it. He tripped on his own damn banana. Idiot. <laughs> well, I guess we could just go up then. All right, let's grab onto it. Rope Snake, you're up. <gasps> Rope Snake, go! Oh, that was sick. That was really cool. What the heck? Who the hell is that? Is that? Who is it? I don't... Who, who is that? What do you mean? Who? Who is what? Who was that? Yeah. They're trying to shake us off. Lucas, come Tora, Bowie, hold on tight now. Duster, it's me, Rope Snake. I know this isn't the best time to chat, but I have some good news for me and bad news for you. The good news for me is that although we haven't known each other long, I'm now a major character in the story, thanks to you. And the bad news for you is that my jaw isn't sturdy enough to support the weight of three people and one dog. In other words, my jaw, it's... It's at its limit. This is literally jaw dropping. No! Rope snake! Oh no. Oh. Damn. Who is that? Freaking helmet kid. Huh? Who's the helmet kid? Time for the flit and souls chapter, right? Sunflower fields. Whoa. Pretty field. Lucas! Where'd all my friends go? Where's Bowie? No, everyone got lost. These fields are beautiful, though. But my friends are nowhere to be found. But this field is so pretty. What's going on? Uh-oh. Klaus flashback. Inoa Lucas. Oh my god, am I dead? What the hell? Wait, like the sunflowers that Inoa used to grow for us or something? And I'm am I is this heaven? Am I actually dead right now? Am I am I am I reading its things? Oh, Bowie's here. Never mind, we're good. Bowie! Hey, buddy. Hey. Puppy. Where's everyone else? <gasps> mm hmm. What's going on? Are we, like, dead? We're following our mom to the... What the heck? What's go I don't Why is the music so sad? Why? Just stop, 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 stop. Just wait for wait for us. Wait for me. Oh no. Oh, she's. She. <gasps> Poor Lucas, man. What the heck? Why did we see the shadow of. Hina? What the hell? That was the entire chapter? That was the whole chapter? What the hell just happened? What the heck? What's going on? I dream I had. You know what told me to pile that hay in that spot right away? She saved your lives. What? Oh, so we're... Did we never actually go to the field? Is that all just like a dream? As we thought we were... What? Oh, so she was guiding us to that spot so that we could be safe? Where's my dad? <laughs> what the heck's going on? I guess it'll be explained eventually. What the hell? <gasps> no, hey! Our friend! What'd you guys do to Yona? 
Ooh, I undid the gag on my own. I just moved my mouth and down, up and down, and slowly slipped off. Oh, I'm wonderful. You're undoubtedly the one we Magipies have been waiting for for tens of thousands of years. Right? C can you sense it too? Can't you feel the time drawing near? It's okay if you can't. I'm not entirely sure about it either. Wait a second. If I was attacked, could it mean... I, I hope Aeolia's right. I, I wish I could fly there, but I can't without my makeup on. All I could do is walk like a human. How tragic. Oh well. I'll walk if I have to. And you, you're coming with me. Let's go to Aeolia's house, okay? Sure. Hey. Long time no see. Or I guess I never saw you. It was Klaus. Oh, what happened? Why aren't you wearing any makeup, Ionia? There's no time to be silly, Eliola. I was attacked, so I rushed here to see if you're all right. I'm just fine. I'm lovely as I always am. You never mind me. Why don't you untie that rope already? Oh, I was in such a rush I never noticed. What a shock. Lucas, could you untie me now? Unbelievable. You have no sense of courtesy. <laughs> I was wondering why we didn't untie him. Who's that fine figure? Why, that's me without makeup. I'm sexy, even without makeup on. Yes, you are. Okay. Oh, I have a bad feeling. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Uh-oh. What the hell's going on? What? What is going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what if Klaus is the villain? Wait, what the hell? Sorry, that was unrelated. What's going on? Oh my, oh yeah! Your body, your body, it's starting to disappear! Oh my, oh my, oh my! So it is, it's disappearing. I'm disappearing, but I'm well. No! But does this mean? Oh no, oh bad, oh so bad! The, the needle in Osho Castle I protected for so long. Someone has pulled it. Someone has been able to pull the needles has finally appeared. The dark dragon seated away by the seven needles will awaken. You can get to the courtyard of O'Shea Castle through this underground path. If the needle really has been pulled, I will vanish very soon. Would it be wise to know who pulled it? Someone with a dark heart? Or someone with a light heart? The answer to that may completely change the fate of the world completely. Ooh. So today is the day I disappear. Yonya, what's your name and doggy? Bye-bye. No! That's so sad. What the heck? They were always serving, though. Don't make me do combat. I'm sad. My friend died. Wait, so, like, you remember what I was saying before? Okay, so, the little freaking kid, right? The little kid they saw, he had, like, orange hair. Right? Am I crazy? Did he have orange hair? What if it's, what if Klaus is, like, the head of this all? Am I crazy? And that's why they thought it looked like us. Because we lit because we look exactly like Klaus. Oh, this is probably really obvious to everybody in the audience, I'm just realizing now. That makes so much sense. Because Klaus is, you know, they're brothers. So it would make sense why we would be mistaken for the commander if Kla if the commander was Klaus. Oh, that's that's it. It's gotta be that. Oh my god. Not Klaus! That would make so much sense, but why would Klaus join the bad people? Maybe, like, the bad people blamed it on the Dragos, and Klaus still thought that the Dragos were the, actually the one to kill his mom? So the Nita really has been pulled. Oh. Uh-oh. I have absolutely no idea who pulled it. The dark dragon's heart will become as light or as dark as the person who pulls it. That's what is said, anyway. But I don't sense anything here at all. I sense... I don't sense a heart of good or evil. How mysterious. Could there be people in this world without heart? Do they have a clay man? Pull it or something? No. We still have a chance left. You were able to learn PK nuts. <laughs> that I was. That I freaking was. Could it be that you're also able to... Oh, that's right. I haven't explained anything to you at all. I need to tell you about the needles. You do need to tell me about the needles. You're not about to tell me some seven needles I have to go across the land and... Okay, instead of making you sit through Iona's long explanation, here's the deal. Basically, underneath the island is a giant dragon who was sealed away by the magic spies using these seven needles, one for each magic spy. So if you're good, the dragon will be good and bring peace, but if you're evil, the dragon's gonna be like, bad. And when you pull the needle, the magic spy guarding it dies. Got it? There's one other legend. It says that only those with the power of PK nuts can pull the seven needles. Not even us magic pies have that ability. In other words, you're able to pull the needles because you're the chosen boy. 
Uh, okay, I guess I gotta go do that then, right? Who else besides you could have pulled the needle? It must have been Klaus, right? It must be. It must have been Klaus because he also learned from the magic spies. Bro. Oh, I'm getting a phone call, I guess. Oh. C -c -c Commander, please hurry here. We've located the next needle. But but, but the monkey, we need... The, the monkey? The monkey can open it. Yeah, I want a pain in the neck. Anyway, the monkey's the key. I'll explain the details. Oh, because they need the dance to get in. Please come to the Chimera Lab. Who's this? Who the hell is that? Oh, it's the grave guy. Lucas, have you seen Flint? He was just here visiting Hinawa's grave. He's probably headed back into the mountains yet again to look for Klaus. Look for Klaus. Visit Hinawa's grave. Look for Klaus. Visit Hinawa's grave. That's all your old man does anymore. His only salvation is you, Lucas. You've grown so strong that Flit doesn't need to worry anymore. You've grown up to be a truly good lad. That, does, that doesn't mean that Lucas still doesn't deserve a family. He already had the rest of it robbed away from him. Here, Flit gave me this. He asked me to give it to you the next time he came by. Supposedly, it's a good luck charm your pops treasured since he was a boy himself. The Courage Badge. Club Titty Boo closed down, so I came all the way here to look for work. But wow, this place... Is this the place the sticks or what? Maybe I should have gone to New Pork instead. New Pork. I can't believe anyone would want to leave this village, but... It's starting to get hard for me to stay, too. Yeah, you guys freaking ruined it! With your happy boxes, man. Not me, though. I've just spent 16 hours playing this video game for the past two days. What the hell? It's a spider horse. A horse anchula. Ew. This thing is nasty. Ew. I hate it. I actually hate it. This feels right. Oh, I gotta do the dance. Can I do it? Oh. I need the monkey to get in. Commander! The needle appears to be behind a strange type of door in the Murasaki forest. One of the monkeys in the chimera lab is the key to pulling the needle. With broken out of its cage, it's running loose inside the building. Ooh, kiki! Sorry, it's out cold. Anyway, please send reinforcements. Ah, hey you, that's the key to- Bro, Saul's in there kicking- Ah, ostrich! It's an elephant ostrich?! Ew. Weird. Why are they making these things? I'm so confused. Oh, you're the part-timer from the other day. Perfect timing. Keep watch for me, will ya? I gotta go inside and help look for some escaped monkeys. <gasps> monkeys?! Does that mean he was reunited with his girlfriend? That would make me happy. There's pig mask. Oh, I gotta disguise myself. They'll never see us coming now. I was just about to go home today, but now I have to look for some stupid monkeys. They're so gonna get reconstructed if I get my hands on them. I mean, I, I guess we already knew what they were doing, but still. What the heck? Trash can, man. Ew! What the hell? Are they literally just sewing them together? Ew! Everything past here is top secret. <gasps> the Drago! This Drago's been frozen and encased in ice. No! How do we thaw it out? Instructions are written on the whiteboard. Emergency measures. Should the ultimate Chimera escape from its cage, seal all entrances and exits immediately. In the unlikely event that it gets outside, use full force to feign ignorance and pretend nothing happened. In the event... That the ultimate Kibera is seen by civilians? The rest has been erased and is unreadable. The ultimate Chimera? Oh, look! Parental Kang Shark. For 10 million DP? Who are they selling these things to? Ostrophilms for 8 million. Why is that one so much cheaper? Hind Swine. 12 million DP. What the hell is going on here? I mean, I know. <gasps> the monkeys! No, we're here to help! No, 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 oh no, monkeys, oh, how do we take our masks off, oh no, we're here, we're, we're, we're friendly, look out, what the hell is that, what the hell is attacking me, an almost mecha lion, why is it almost a mecha lion, oh, because it still has, yeah, at a certain point, why not just make an actual li lion out of robot parts, you know what I'm saying, why even put the actual lion in there, What the hell? I was not expecting that. Why did the Clayman come in with the leg kick? That was sick. What the hell? Clayman bodied that freaking lion. How many are left? Just the one now. 
The one? You mean the red one with the huge mouth? The ultimate chimera. That thing means serious trouble. Standing here won't solve anything. For now, let's hurry and seal the exits. Oh no. I need to go save him. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Um. Excuse me, Mr. Chimera. I really need to just go heal though, sorry. Oh my god, people are just dying left and right. When that red one's in the hallway, you gotta hide in an elevator or a room till it passes. I know all about that, and yet, man, I'm so stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah, well, you do seem stupid. Oh my god, he like ransacked this place. Uh, 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 uh. You know, he doesn't seem that dangerous to me, guys. Oh. Oh, he just one hit kills you. You don't, you don't even go into the fight. Oh my god, what is this? There are many unidentifiable, unidentifiable objects here, all prevented in formaldehyde. All fermented in formaldehyde. Ew. Full bodies of animals, large and small, are being preserved in chemicals. You get the flea feeling that staying in here for too long will make you lose your appetite. I already did lose my appetite. This is nasty. Monkeys! No, monkeys, we're on your side! Remember I saved you like a little bit ago. Monkeys, what? just take the pig mask off, Lucas. You scared off the monkey. We need the monkey to get the needle. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Why does he have a little bird? Oh, it's just a bird. What the hell? Is the bird like the... <gasps> I just remember the Chimera's weakness, so I must have the courage to come here. Don't you remember this, monkey? This is high-tech battery-operated Chimera. Oh, it's battery operated. In other words, if we set the power switch on its back to off, it will stop. So, save us! And there's a large button on its back, you need to press it! Come on now, be courageous! Use the dog as bait! Oh my god! You, you're not, you don't seem like that good-willed. Souls! Souls! He saved us! Oh, well that was easy. Thank you, lad, and monkey. I think I'll use this opportunity to leave the military and devote my life to making all my living things happy. <laughs> what the hell? That's out of nowhere. Bro. That was freaking awesome. <gasps> Princess Kumatora! <gasps> Whoa, awesome! You really did show up, Lucas! You're here too, Sauls. It's great to see you again. I didn't know you were alive. Oh, and how you been, Love Monkey? Her name is Love Monkey? That's pretty funny, honestly. Hello! Come with me. I'll show you where the needle is. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Lucas, that's Doria, one of the seven Magipies. After I fell from the airship, Doria was there to rescue me. Apparently a pretty woman dressed in red appeared in Doria- Oh! <gasps> And foretold that I'd fall into this pond. For some reason, after I heard that story, I just knew somehow you guys were alright too. And I'd see you again soon enough. I was alert to worry about you, Lucas. The needle I'm gone is at the bottom of this pond. My needle is much more of a pain to pull out. <laughs> you know that Chimera Laboratory in the west of here? There might be some junk here that could help us move the pond water. Why not look for something there? Can't I just dive in? Behold- What? The hell? I brought several of the Chimeras I've been developing in secret. Take whichever one you think was the most useful to you. Definitely the big one. Wait, is this an... That's Dry Guy. It's the latest model dryer Chimera. It uses an air intake sensor and a jet engine. It can dry anything in mere moments. Even long hair, afros, panties, and Asian beauties? What? Who is this old woman? Oh. Those are the Bucket Brothers. The result of combining cutting-edge dough technology with clay man technology. These fellows are exceptionally hard workers. Are you certain this is what you want? I have no regrets in choosing the Bucket Brothers! Yes! The Bucket Brothers! Yes, I want the Bucket Brothers. Go, Bucket Brothers! <laughs> oh! Yes, here we are. This will solve our pond without a dilemma. I just know it! <laughs> Oh, look! They're trying so hard! 
Keep it at it a little more. Yeah, they'll get there. Give the Bucket Brothers some time. Oh, yeah. Keep it up, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like it. Keep up that energy. Keep it going. Keep it going, guys. Keep going even more. Why not? What are we doing? Time waits for no one, but I wait for the Bucket Bros. Very little was accomplished. But, oh, Bucket Brothers, you failed me. Bucket Brothers, no, you failed. You sent your choice back. I bet those kids could have managed it had we had them going for a whole year straight. That's a rather ho-hum chimera known as the Pump Chimera. It's an extraordinarily ordinary creature that's really only useful when you need to transfer something from one place to another, such as pond water. Certain one, yeah, I'll take this one. Here he goes! Me, me when you're, me, me, me with your mom, me with your, me when, I, me when your mom. There it is! That's the needle. One of the seven needles sealing the dragon away. Oh no. What if I'm not meant to pull it out? I'm not sure if I should be afraid or happy. A rush of emotions are overcoming me. This needle gets pulled. Will you disappear like Aeolia did? Yes, that's right. We Magipies have lived here in our lives so we can happily accept our fate when it comes. So don't worry. I'm not gonna die. I'm simply gonna follow that fate and disappear. So it'll be a happy thing. I do have many fond memories though. So it will be a little sad too. <laughs> I don't wanna. But I, I know I have to. <gasps> nice! Something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas realized the power of PK Nuts Beta. Oh, thank God. That's awesome. This really is the beginning of the end. The time has finally come. I never once imagined someone would show up as this tender young girl's home to pull the needle. Disappearing while still young and beautiful. In one sense, it's bliss. Come, Tora. Go with little Lucas here and see things through to the end. I'm about to disappear youthfully and beautifully. Think about me sometimes, okay? Bye, Doria. I leave the rest in your hands now. She was girl bossing. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna see things through to the end. Lucas, can I come along with you? I wanna go with you. Salsa! Sals, we just met again after all this time, but it looks like this is goodbye again. What's with that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. Aw, Sals, let's go. Let's go to that next needle! You and love, monkey. Take care now. I saw. <gasps> huh? What is it? <gasps> a nut. For, for me? Received a nut. He did all that he can. Thank you. See you later. If we ever get the chance. Squeak, squeak, squeak! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there. Just where do you think you're going? Okay. The squeaks? <laughs> This guy is awesome! Dude, look at him like a Chad, just gussied up on his couch. So you kept true to your promise and finally came to the Mole Cricket Hole. Huh? It's me? Don't you recognize me? It's the Mole Cricket you fought at Alex's place when we were play fighting with the Dragos as a little kid. Oh my god. This is the best plot resolution that could have happened. I really thought freaking Hinoa stepped on him. Oh my god! Guys, one less person died in this game than we thought. <laughs> here it is. This is where me and you are going to fight it out. This is where my right hand will be raised into the air when I'm declared the winner. This is the place. Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen the hole a bit for you to fit through. Come on. Okay, guess we're doing this now. Wait, you folks are truly seriously going to fight him? Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is run away. But you insist on it. In that case, I won't stop you. You ready to do this thing? All right. I guess you have no care for your own life. The bell has rung! I'm actually scared based off that. I, I turned into a mole cricket! It's just like me when I see something that with theming brown and glasses. It me! I feel like this guy's actually gonna be, he ain't sh And he was capping on us. Oh no. Oh, poor guy. I was actually scared for a second. And then I thought about it for a bit longer, I'm like, Maybe this won't be a big deal. Okay, I'm just gonna attack. Oh no. Oh, poor mole cricket. That's enough! That's enough, we give up! 
To think such a mighty Mo Cricket warrior could be defeated so easily. Perhaps Mo Crickets aren't so powerful after all. I'll meditate on what else this means at a later time. But for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is to be on good terms with <laughs> you. Let's be friends. <laughs> I like the cut of this guy's jib. Is there anything you need? Needles. Give me the needles, boss. Actually, yeah. Do you know where the needles sealing away the dark dragon are? But call it a hunch, I think there could be a clue to this mysterious object on the mountain of the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the Elder wanted to say, too. Oh, dear me. My little bunnies have run off. This is quite a surprise, you see. We haven't had visitors in some time. You must be cold. Come inside and warm up. What? Why is there a pig mask guy here? Get him the frick out of here. Oink. I found him lying unconscious outside my house. Looks like he went for a scouting mission and got separated from his friends. Aww. I care for him. So you're the one they call Lucas. I've heard about you from Iona. They say you're the one who can pull the needles. Such a strong, sweet face. I'm Lydia, the match spy of Snowcap Mountain. When you pull the needle, I will vanish. That is our fate as magipies. So that is what must happen. When the time comes, I will welcome it with open arms. But there is one concern I have. Who will take care of my precious bunnies when I'm gone? No one will be here to look after them. Uh, we'll get that guy to do it. And then there's him. He still hasn't regained his strength yet. Now then, have faith the time has come and go pull the needle. I've unlocked the door for you. I have a feeling it's not going to be that simple. Oh, what is that? Is that what it sounds like when the time comes? Oh, no. No! They're dropping bombs on Snowcap Mountain! Oh, crap. Okay. We gotta get there before Klaus. Oh, no! We got beat! Freaking Klaus! Get out of here! Wait, why did they take off without him? Okay, maybe he didn't have orange hair, guys. He just had orange pants. But come on! It's gotta be him. It's gotta be you, Klaus. I could tell. I know it. Who the hell is that? Whoa. That guy is cool. Okay, well, we didn't get into in time. The masked man. Could he be the one pulling the needles? Is Lydia alright? No! Lydia! Lucas, someone other than you has pulled the needle. Whatever is inside that person's heart has been passed on to the dark dragon. You must pull the rest of the ne pull remaining needles from here on out. Okay, could you tell me where the other ones are? Or is this gonna... Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Am I crazy for that? No, Lydia! You didn't even die for a good reason. Send hugs and kisses to the next magi pie for me. Man, I secretly listened in our conversation. Me and you are enemies. Don't bother with me. Just go do what you need to do. I have no intention of helping you guys out. The Magus Pie helped me out, even though I'm a complete stranger. So I'm going to stay here and look after his rabbits. Then, we'll be even. Aww. Get going already, before another needle gets pulled. Aww, he's pulling for us. Leave Snowcap Mountain. Yep. What? We're going to go snowboarding down the mountain? What the hell is going on? Oh my god, there's an actual white box. It's like a gondola. Oh my god, it's a sick gondola. What the hell? Dun, 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 dun. This, how does this get back? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god, it's a fridge! <laughs> oh, that's really funny. There's a jar here that's too hard to ignore. Inside it's a letter. Read it? Yes. I would like to read that. This way. Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. Mr. Saturn! I know him. Watching ceiling. Oh, okay. This is Saturn Valley. Don't make me explain any more than that. I'm not even really sure what the deal with this place is. Me neither. What the hell is going on? Tell us where the needle is, or we'll make you even scarier stories. Oh no. Tell you even scarier stories. Okay, let's get this started. This is, this is gonna be scary. So listen, good. Ah, non-Mr. Saturns. What are you doing here? We'll beat you good. Frightbot, no! Aw, sorry, Frightbot. The last thing you'd want when you die to a kid's and a stupid dog. Save, zoom, zoom. Thank goodness I'm smiling. I'm happy. I'm in trouble. No, wait. I'm happy.
Man, life is just simple for you guys. No, the Mr. Saturns. Oh, <gasps> what the hell? The rope snake. They got the rope snake on a noose. How could they? <laughs> Making horrible chalkboard scratching sounds while it's trying to tell scary stories. Where's the needle? Do not know. Don't lie. You lied yesterday, too. You'd better tell us or we'll start tickling your underarms again. Yes, yes. We are no good. Who are you? What do you want? Just get him. Ah, crap. I didn't heal. No, Frightbot. Our Frightbot. We needed that. We must inform Mr. Facade. Oh, that guy's here. You'll pay for this. I'll make sure you pay. Oh, here you are, Duster. Why was he in Saturn Village this whole time? Lucas. Kumdora. Bowie. Thank goodness you're all right. The kind people of this valley rescued me. Those other guys captured us all. Don't worry, the egg of light is safe. Is it? It's in his butt? Sounds like I should go with you. Lucas, I'm coming too. The gang's back together. Actually, we would have dragged you along with us anyway. Yeah. Get fucked, Duster. Why does everybody hate him so much, though? There's some things I wish I want to forget and some things I have forgotten. But have you forgotten me? It's me, the rope snake. Apologize for the trouble I caused before. No, I'm not depressed. I'm not. Really, I'm not depressed. Absolutely me, IRL. Up to five peoples. What? <laughs> Playing ladder. What? I l Girl. So there are Miss Mrs. Saturns too, I guess? I really hope this magic spy talks like a Mr. Saturn. That would be awesome. Sleep talking. Me. Sleep talking. It's a letter from Miss Frigia on the sign. Read it? Yeah. Welcome. I am Frigia, the sleeping magic spy. The dark dragon needle you... Your to pull is up in the lake of lava up ahead. I don't mind if you pull it while I'm asleep. <gasps> oh, we got here first! Somehow. I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> I found you. I finally found you. <laughs> is what Facade says. What? 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 Please forgive my late introduction. I am Facade's interpreter? What? What? Because of you, I feel more beautiful, newer, and more wonderful than ever before. He turned himself into a chimera? But I will not thank you, is what Facade just said. He threw me off Thunder Tower. He goes on to say the resulting shame, pain, and woe are very humiliating. Oh no, we mutilated him. Oh no. Oh wait, no, but he tripped on his own banana. I don't feel bad anymore. Get messed up, bro. What the hell? New facade. Just go. Just kill him. Kill him. Just keep attacking. Oh my god. Thank god. Thank god. We we're running out of crap. Oh boy. He 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 he. No way. What? You lost though. Facade also says, I will humbly make you pay for this. And he says it with some intense emotion. I believe it's an anger filled emotion. <laughs> I don't think I ever heard Facade talk in an emotion that was not anger. What are you doing, Duster? Oh, they're gonna watch me pull it. I was like, Duster, this is not your needle, man. Step back. <laughs> Freaking moron. No! My sleeping angel. I thought it would get pulled while I was asleep, but I saw it. I saw the needle get pulled. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. They die. We might not, like, we're, they're dying on the, like, hope that we are able to pull all the needles. You know? Like, we might fail. And if we don't, then they died, like, for nothing. In fact, they died for less than nothing. They died for the destruction of the world. Oh my god, why is he dropping a bomb in there? For what reason? To what end? Why? What the hell? That was just- you should be a dick. That didn't even do anything. Oh, I guess he's trying to slow us down. I guess that does make sense. We all good friends. All everyone. I Polish bull thing to sparkly thing. You wound up giving your courage badge to the Mr. Saturn. I make sparkly and give back. I make sparkly. Wait, we gave our courage badge to him? That was like the only thing our dad ever did for us. Did we just hold on to this rope then? Hold it. <gasps> the rope snake. Yes. Yes. I was hoping that he would come. You guys really think that cheap rope will last all the way to test? <gasps> yes. Yes. Rope snake's back. Rope snake's back. I missed you, buddy. <gasps> Bowie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How many times are we gonna fall off something? You bet on me, but it seems you lost, huh? I think that for a while, I'm gonna act like a fat worm and I... I think everyone should have that power. To just be like a little fat worm and hide in a hole. 
like you deserve to be. So don't talk to me. The rock and cool rope snake you once knew is dead. No! He gave it his all. No, rope snake. What just happened? This dude's getting sucked off by a merman? I know the supplies with auction, but these machines just aren't my thing. Oh, what? They're really demoralizing. Oh, it's just a machine? Why would they make the machine have giant suckers? Okay, now I gotta get sucked off. There's an oxygen supply here. Yes, suck me. Thank you. Who the hell is this guy? Freaking Sneasler. What the hell was that? Who the hell? Who is this man? The master. <laughs> oh, <gasps> yes. Master Eddie generated whirlpool. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Lucas, no. My items. Oh, my God. What the hell? What the hell is going on? I took 700 damage. What the hell? My items? I need those. Who even was he? Was he sided with any faction? What leg in the race did you have? Energizing mushrooms. Don't eat too many. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? We're already on death's door. These mushrooms have a funky looking color, but they're okay to eat, right? Probably. Are you really gonna eat them? Yeah, what's the worst that happens? They said that they're safe to eat. Bowie's not gonna eat the mushrooms? Are we about to trip balls? They seem to be all right. Yay. What? Or not. You're overcome by indescribably odd sensation. No, Lucas is tripping. No, this is not a good environment for a trip. And there's no trip advisor. Oh no, this is awful. Oh no. This could lead to overwhelming trauma. As if Lucas doesn't have enough. Bowie, no. You gotta make sure that we're in a calm and safe environment. Oh no. No, there's too many stimuli. It's gonna give us extended paranoia and other symptoms. I did, Flint? Oh, it must be an illusion. Oh, Lucas, what are you doing here? Are you lost? There's nothing wrong with being lost. What? An eerie smile? What the hell is going on? Killed mom, killed dad. Next up, little brother. Duster, it was my fault you lost full use of your left leg. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Don't leave me again. Come with me. Let's leave this place together. No. You ungrateful child. You make anyone cry. What the hell? Is that why Duster can't move his leg? What the heck happened? A mailbox? Yeah, what's inside? There are lots of postcards. Yeah, let's read them. The boy named Lucas is crying at a grave. The boy named Lucas and his dog are loitering in the forest. The boy named Lucas is getting into trouble in the mountains. The boy named Lucas stole nuts from our garden. The boy named Lucas is bullying animals. Lucas! The boy named Lucas learned some bad magic. Oh, wait. No, that was part of the journey. The boy named Lucas. The boy named Lucas. The boy named Lucas. The boy named Lucas. The mailbox left out a tremendous scream. What the frick? <gasps> I know it's just an illusion. But Klaus, no. Klaus. Say, Lucas, what you up to? It looks so fun. Let me join you. No, you can't join us, Klaus. You won't let me join? Why not? Why not? Why won't you let me join in? Oh my god. What the actual hell? Stuffed inside with sheer never-ending darkness. Klaus! Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone's waiting to throw rocks at you, spit on you, and make your life hell. Who's everyone? Everyone you love. Oh my god! What the hell? It's the lady from the diner. Don't want to fight her. Your mommy's waiting for you. She's waiting for you with fresh shrimp pasta. She's waiting. She's waiting for you! Oh no. We're definitely gonna have to fight Hinawa, aren't we? My god. It's almost supper time. Hinawa should be back soon. What? She's not coming back? Did you do something to her? Huh? I did it to her. Hinawa wasn't coming back? Who are you? What did you do? It's time for supper. It's time for supper. No, I don't want to fight at you. Ugh. Gonna beat you, boy. Gonna beat you. Daddy's gonna beat- What the fuck? This is all a terrible trip. What the hell? What do you have to say, Mr. Alec? Who are you again? Who, 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 who are you? Who are you, 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 you again? <laughs> oh my god. Souls, talk to us. 
Of course I can talk. I can talk forever and ever about how it was Lucas's fault I wound up in trouble. How was that Lucas's fault? Lucas did it. Lucas did it. Lucas did it. Lucas did it. Wait, how was that Lucas's fault? How could that even be perceived as Lucas's fault? The worst part is that these are all like this is all happening in Lucas's mind. So like he thinks about all these things. You know what I mean? Okay. Can you flush? You got send. What? This is this is the next one. Ocho, twist turn. That person over there is Mixolydia. Isn't she pretty? She looks nothing like the other ones. Oh me, oh my! We have visitors, and like they're all hopped up on mushrooms. <laughs> you people stink. Oh my gosh, she looks nothing like the rest of them. Oh, wait a minute. Just a tiny bit of these mushrooms will cause terrible hallucinations. Powerful hallucinations that'll tear your weaknesses and the scars in your heart. But it'll bring you back to your senses now. There. All better. This makes a lot more sense. I, this makes a lot more sense. Oh my god, he's a giant octopus! Oh, Joe! Oh my god, he's got a cute little hat on! Oh, Joe is the best! Uh, who are these guys? And I want to know everything about them. That is incredible. That's actually amazing. Uh, I, I am in love with them. Why are they fondling each other? <laughs> so strange. No! Pull the needle! Go, go, go! No, 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 no! Lucas, go! Just pull it! Stop looking! Lucas! No, you're- I'm gonna- I'm gonna murder you. Just pull the needle! Just pull it, pull it, pull it! Jesus Christ! Go! Pull the needle, Lucas! Just turn around! What the hell? Oh my god! Bro! He summoned lightning out of thin air! Oh my god, Lucas! You kind of bungled this one, honestly. Why is this dude so evil? It's gotta be Klaus, right? Take your mask off, man! It's killing me inside! That was surprisingly disappointing. Good work today. Yeah, good work today. I I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Alec, what are you doing? Oh, Lucas. Slowly but steadily, the people of Tasmili have been heading into the big city. I didn't know you guys were still here, though. What? No one seems to be home. Oh, no. Who's this guy? But sure, I'm the mayor here, which means I'll be one of the last people to- <gasps> What? Even so, I really want to go. I should just ditch this miserable little village and be done with it. Oh, Lucas, you didn't hear me talking to myself just now, did you? What the heck? They made this entire town prosperous just to- Make everybody move to the city, what the heck? Customers have all but disappeared, and even my own family is heading into the city. Not me, though. I just can't up and leave my store behind. Aww. You're selling the most useless crap ever. They destroyed- Frog in a car! No! Lighter and fluel! I'm not sure what to do. It's a real dilemma. Should we head into the big city, or should we stay behind and keep an eye on the village? I just can't decide. No. Oh, it's so good to see you again. You finally, finally come, Lucas. You always struck me as a bit of a crybaby. But you've grown so strong. Bowie, you came with him all this way? Good boy. Let's see. This slightly pale fellow, what was it again? Oh, yes, a Duster. I knew your name. I was only teasing, dearie. It's a pleasure to meet you, Duster. I know very well that your fate lies in helping cute little Lucas here. Come, Tora. I've watched you since you were very little. But this is the prettiest you've ever been now. You're absolutely fabulous. I know you might say, cut that crap out. But it's the truth. <laughs> yo and yo. You don't need to say anything. Understand. Five needles have been pulled now. And now it's my turn. That only leaves the needle in Chupichioyo Chup Temple. And the one missing needle. Temple's covered in vines and frozen in time. You can't get inside with them as they are. You need to sprinkle these waters of time on them. Nice. Mr. Saturn! Did you really polish our thing? Polish into shiny sparkle thing. No worries. I give it back to you. Thank you, Mr. Saturn. The courage badge was none other than a Franklin badge. You got the Franklin badge. Farewell, farewell. Oh, why is he dressed like a babushka? Oh, crap. They only brought one clay man? Klaus! I'm gonna kill you! Wait, how are we gonna get past them? Oh my god, he's gonna bomb the temple! Oh my god, he just threw a bomb at the freaking clay man! What the hell? And you, helmet little guy. Are you finally gonna talk to us? If he's brainwashed or something, that is gonna be so anticlimactic. Lucas's Franklin badge reflected the masked man's lightning right back at him! Ooh! Hold this L, bro! 
Do it again. Oh, is this reveal very obvious that it's Klaus or am I... Or, well, first of all, am I reading into things? That was not very nice at all. Wait, what? How can you speak a nuts? What the hell? Okay. Crap. Okay. Wait, how was he able to use PK nuts? Oh, that's curtains for me. How was he able to use PK nuts? It must be Klaus, right? Stop with the P. How does he know PK nuts? Duster might just pull this out somehow. <gasps> Duster! What the f I cannot believe I pulled that out. Oh my god, Duster. In the nick of time. Show us under your mask. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Pull off the mask. Pull it off, Lucas. Uh oh. Oh no, he's running away. But we did beat his. Pull the needle. Let's do it. Oh, Ionia. I don't want to lose you. As I start to disappear, my heart senses an intense disturbance. Locria, the final missing magic spy, is rapidly nearing the seventh needle. That's what I'm sensing. It's coming from that direction, from a lively, filthy place. Oh, and just when I'm about to tell you where it is. Oh, we're going to have to go to New Park City, baby. I'm sorry. I'm disappearing now. Too bad I didn't get to see how everything turns out, but... Lucas, honey. Little Bowie. Adorable Duster. And Princess Comtora. Whatever happens, make sure you get to see whatever the final fate of the world is. A lim- What? Master Lucas, yes? Our great leader and new king of the entire world, Master Porky, cordially invites you to the greatest city in the world, New Park City. I will take you there in this stretch limousine, so please step inside. Uh, yes? I am very scared. Oh my god, it actually is a flying limo. Chapter things, all things. Oh, it must be the last chapter, because all good things must come to an end. Well, we finally arrived. Please watch your step as you exit the car. You haven't forgotten anything, have you? You're free in this city. Master Porky has given you your freedom. What? Porky? Walk, stop, sleep, shout. You're free to do it all. I love a town where everyone just talks about how free they are. Ma it makes me feel like they're really free. Oh, wait, all these buildings are fake. That's actually really funny. No! 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 Oh. Let's walk <gasps> the Bucket Brothers! Yes! Yes! The Bucket Brothers have returned! This is the highlight for me. The Tallman! No, why are you jailed up, Tallman? Tallman! What happened? Tallman! What are you doing here? Must be a real shock to hear me speaking for once. It is! I didn't know you talked. I wasn't that I couldn't talk at all this time. I just simply chose not to. But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. The time has come to tell you everything. Oh, thank God. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you must absolutely hear it. It'll be a long story, but please listen to it all. You got it. Long ago, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on these islands think. Think of... This world was incredibly big. The, more people lived in this world than there are grains of sands on the Nowhere Islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but this world once existed. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And then it really did happen. And so the world is no more. Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmili Village. Yes. Aboard the white ship were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people on this ship went by their names from the previous world. The white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. And although they're part of this world, these Noah Islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain, even if the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. The reason these islands are special is because they harbored a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long ago, people lived together with the dragon. However, at some point in time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So using the several needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Magispi people. And so because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Those who came here aboard the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that this world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the White Ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their new lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes, in short, 
everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. That makes so much sense. Oh my god. That is what happened. People would restart their lives in a simple, peaceful village, in the kind of place they wish they had grown up in. They'd erase their memories of everything, the world, their belongings, their rules, and then they'd begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would be reset and replaced with a newly created story, and thus the village of Tazmili came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was the device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and his son Duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. And there's one other thing, me. It was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tazmili who wasn't given a role in the new story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Leader, comes from the word Leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I was anyone special. I was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So upon discussion, I was selected because it'd be easier for me to stand out. Oh, poor guy. He wasn't able to live in this new fake world. Being so tall, people would want to come see me, you know? So I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly came for it. What? Why was this not distributed throughout the story? Why is this all just being thrown at me in the final act? Freaking, here's all this information. It's like six different plot lines. Apparently long ago, a kingdom existed on this island, centered around the King of Oshe. However, when we arrived on the White Ship, the people of this kingdom were gone. Before boarding the White Ship, Princess Comtora was an infant who had lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the Magispees to raise, and given the role of Princess of O'Shea Castle. Wes and Duster, being her retainers, was another part of the fabricated story. Truthfully, we had no idea whether how Tazmili Village would turn out, but things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the White Ship had fully taken to their new identities. It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. It seems he used a time distorter machine to travel through time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all other times and space and tumbled into this era and these islands. Even worse, he uses time distorter to bring many people from other eras here. The pig mass, as well as everyone in New Park City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box, with which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make new creepy chimeras. As a childlike dictator, he began, he began doing whatever he pleased, including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Porky eventually learned that the white ship secret because of a traitor among the Magipies. Huh? Who's the, who's the Magipie traitor? The traitor was Locria, got it? The seventh Magipi, the only one you haven't met yet. After Locria joined forces with Porky, Porky learned about the white ship people and the secret of the sleep at Dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth itself, you see. However, only a very select few are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently, neither the Magipies nor Porky have that capability. Yet the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control- Oh, it's Klaus, but it's all mind control. We have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world will be completely destroyed again, and it will spell the true end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we can't allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen, Lucas. Seems you're the chosen one, with the ability to pull the needles sealing the dragon away. You must pull the dark dragon's needles with your own hands and pass your heart on to the dragon. Let this be the one and only order to you as your leader. Supposedly the last needle somewhere here in New Pork City. Porky has been gathering into gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Pork City to prepare for the final needles pulling. It's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party. But now, it's our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end, or new and bountiful things may begin. Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Why didn't you step in when Facade was, like, taking over the town, right? You were once a weak and fragile boy, but now you've been given a tremendous role to fulfill. So basically, what happened is that... All the humans died, except for the people on this one ship. All the people on this ship came here, and then they erased all their memories of their old world. They tried to live in a peaceful village with no money. And then, Porky is a time-traveling bandit. Is mind-controlling the masked man, who is presumably the other chosen one, to pull the dragon's needles. And Locria is also really bad. Huh. Okay. Then did other people- what the hell is that? 
What the? Oh, it's the... Oh, f I'm not fighting facade right now. Oh my god, this dude is back? And he, oh, he is an interpreter. That's one Nue and eight he 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 he's. Oh, the interpreter's here. <laughs> oh, brother. This guy stinks! <laughs> oh, what a pleasure it is to see you again. I say Nue to you, for I now will give you thoroughly destructive damage, he goes on to say. I've been remade into an incredible, fiercely powerful, and dangerous ultimate weapon. Here I come. <laughs> facade is now ready to fight. Here he comes. Oh my god. Miracle facade. How do the trumpets, how do just adding more trumpets, how could that possibly help? Go, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I would not translate this part. The reason being that these are not words, but simple sounds. You have bested me, kind sirs. Actually, no, you did not best me. You are merely detestable. I am sick of all this fighting. Very extremely sick of it. This is all just a game. What? You could call it Master Porky's game. You people are still stuck inside the game. As for me, I may have been removed from it, but I am still not sure. The flames of my life are in danger now. Do not think we will ever- Oh my god. Not just in battle, is what Facade states. He also adds in a very faint voice. <laughs> Facade is not going to plummet. Oh my god! Bro, bro just died. Well, this is awkward. Um, <laughs> I am an interpreter. When other facade is gone, I am no longer needed. <gasps> Join us. Is she gonna just? What? Where's she going? Please do not chase after me. Goodbye. Well, now I kind of want to chase after you. Why does? What the hell? Who are these guys? Look, look. What? What the hell? Yay, yay! This, that, left, right. Huh? Gaze, gaze. Sounds like my audience, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Hey now, you're sort of in the way. What? The elevator broke, so I rushed to fix it. For some reason, it wouldn't stop at the concert hall on the 21st floor anymore, but it works fine now. Wait a minute, you weren't thinking of going to the 100th floor, were you? No. Oh, I take it you're going to the concert hall then. Then you get to hear the cool, greedy, and slightly indecent and giggle-tastic DMCMC sound that you so long for. I was planning to go to the 100th floor. I was lying. Lucky! It's OJ! Oh no! Where are his gloves? Oh, the whole gang! Oh, and lips. All living things on these islands have been gathered here in New Pork City. A great undefiable power has prepared a festival for the end of all life. What? What? All right, everyone. This may be the last time you'll ever get to hear us play, and this also may be the last time we ever get to perform. Tandagosa! We're gonna rock you until you drop! It's sad. <laughs> Attention, all goody two-shoes inside the Empire Porky building. The final game has begun. Please gather up what puny wisdom and pathetic courage you have and come to, up to the hundredth floor. You're the only basis the DMCMC could ever have. Without you, we're without a base. Aww, that was sad. Next stop, hundredth floor. What the hell? What in the hell is this place? Why is it like a freaking, like, strip club? What? Oh my god, it actually is! What the frick? What the actual hell? Oh, how about some oxygen for old time's sake? Okay, Mr. Oxygen Machine. <laughs> my job is tickling Master Porky under his chins. Your attention, please. We have a report of lost children. The detestable Lucas and his pals appear to be lost in Master Porky's fan room. Come to the real- How many ho real hundred floors are there? He just lives in, like, these fake realities, deception, this weirdo. Next stop, 100th floor. I doubt it. What the hell? What is this? What the frick? Sorry, I'm a little busy at the moment. Could you save it for later? Okay, there's a... What? 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 <laughs> Men's room zone? Yeah, you seem to be having quite the tough time. Did you enjoy my special all-you-can-pee toilet dungeon? Now that I have some sad news for you. This place you're at now really- No way! Next up, 100th floor. Doubtful. <gasps> what? Oh, is it the last majesty? Magispy? What the hell? Oh, facade- What? Yeah. What? Wait, facade was a- what? Why is Facade's things here? Why was Facade holed up in Locria's hut? 
What? Magispy's beloved bed. On it is Facade's clothing? What? Facade is sleeping with the Magispy? Oh my god, Lucas! You just got murked, man. I'm so confused. What's up, Mouse? I don't think Lucrea's coming back anymore. Oh, me? Come on, Mouse Lucrea liked to dote over. He had a creepy... <laughs> what? What? Facade was a... F what? I guess that makes sense because he used PSI techniques. What? But he was very nice to me, at least. Do you think he'll be coming home soon? I'm so lonely. What? Facade was a magic spy? What the hell? What am I... Oh, God. What the... What? Probably don't need to tell you this, but whatever you do, do not tackle anyone. <laughs> Next stop, 100th floor. Welcome. This is Nice Person's Hot Spring. Using this will turn you into a nice person who respects Master Porky from the bottom of your heart. Use it until you're red in the face. And you'll feel happy and revitalized as a nice person. Unlike with regular hot springs, all you have to do is go inside the green colored capsules. Makes it very simple and convenient. What? What the hell? What? Bloop, bloop. This feels so nice. Glub, glub. Let's have a grant. It's literally the Matrix. It's what the f what the what the hell? What? The beginning of the end. The end of everything. <gasps> it's Porky. He's some shit kid. I knew it. Let's be friends. I'm Porky. Please don't over me more. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. That's not very nice, now is it? <laughs> Actually, I'm not very nice either. What the f Oh, it's not even the real Porky. Porky01 and its cohorts. What the hell? Is this gonna be like a longy or a shorty? Oh! Come on! Just go, 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 go! Okay, are we done? Oh my god! <laughs> All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. What? <gasps> it's a DMCMC! Bakio job down in the front! Tondagossa! Dramatic climaxes are when unruly dudes like us get to shine! <gasps> oh my god! They're insane! <gasps> Flit! Come, boy. Lucas, this is it. This is finally it. What the hell have you been doing the whole game? <laughs> Come a little closer so I can see your face better. What? What? Oh, is that what you look like? I was the one who brought you here. A traveler who has journeyed to and from past and future. I'm the most clever, most charming, most troublemaking boy ever. Master Porky Minch. <laughs> what? What the hell? What is- what the hell is that? What the frick? You resorted to blanking your memories to create a new world where humanity's past failures would never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit defeat, in the end, the creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrant by acting out of stupidity and evil. And then, mankind will be gone for good. You could have been happy. If only you've done as I did, and obediently followed the visionary selfless desires of a great hero. <laughs> Why is it you struggle to cling to life with such puny minds, pitiful bodies, and feeble hearts? It's not what you have, well, no matter. The curtain is about to fall on this pathetic little play of yours, because soon, the power of power will be mine. The world and everything in it has been my oyster so far, and now I'll end it all by acquiring the ultimate power. I was bored on my mind and wanted to play with something more thrilling, you see. But now that we're face to face like this, I won't hold anything back. My slave, my lifeless son, will put the final needle for me. And the moment he does, the dragon shall awaken and I will do as I want. At which time I'll assume fools like you, you fools, will turn into garbage or dust or something and finally disappear for good. <laughs> I'll admit... It is kind of sad, but I would be crushed under the weight of boredom for any other way. Do you understand now? Do you understand the sadness Master Porky bears now that he's godlike? <laughs> <coughs> what the frick? 
Seems the seventh and final needle has just been located deep underground below here. I assume you want to pull it too, right? Why not go and check it out then? I'm even being fair enough to tell you where it is. That will really make this game all the more fun. Lucas, there's something that has me concerned. Could you let me go on ahead first? No. Just say yes and don't ask why, okay? Thanks. Don't ask why. Seems like I've been gone a long time, then go ahead and keep going. You're gonna go? This doorknob seems familiar. Hmm. What the hell? This place is haunted as frick. Ah, oh, damn it. What the frick is this? It's just like disembodied elements. What the hell? This is freaky as hell. What the hell are you doing? What happened? That masked man. He's Klaus. I knew it! Okay, I guess everybody knew that. But I knew it! I freaking knew it! Lucas. He's your brother, Klaus. I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy. It was your father. Finally found the son I lost. Lucas, be happy. I finally found your brother. The final needle. Lucas, make sure you pull it. Catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me. Just hurry up to the needle. Okay, yeah, I kind of gathered that, but still! Thank you for confirming it! Stop, 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 stop. Stop right there. What? There, this really is no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after the needle, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way as we speak. Huh? The monster's name is Klaus? Its name was Klaus? That almost sounds like a person's name. But now it's my robot. Now even a fragment of life remains inside of it. It's Master Porky Slave Robot does whatever I say. It acts on my will alone. It's my double. It doesn't know anything about who you are. Well, I mean, I guess that's a relief. First question, um, what the hell? Follow-up question, am I looking at? Is this just an old man, like, strapped to hospital bed? I'll never die. I'll never die. Nor will I ever be beaten. But appears my she machine has run out of energy for the moment. <laughs> Lucas, you haven't won, just so you know. What the hell? I'm going to duck inside the absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, no attack will have any effect on me whatsoever. I sh I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah, right. There's no such thing as absolutely. But there is a such thing. And it's this. The absolutely safe capsule I tricked Dr. Andonuts and the Mr. Saddens into making for me. 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 All for me. Uh, just flat left you, dude. Orky Seal signs himself the absolutely safe capsule. Oh, it's the old man! Dr. Ando Nuts! Oh my. As evil as old Porky here is, I feel bad for him now. <gasps> he put a explode button on it! It's true that the absolutely safe capsule and that the Mr. Sirens and I developed together can protect one from every matter of danger is an absolutely safe capsule. But once you enter it, you can never exit it. What? Even what's outside of the absolute capsule. Safe capsule is absolutely safe. I did tell Porky that in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet. But now, but all he can do now is live for eternity inside the capsule in absolute safety. Who knows, in a way, he might have gotten exactly what he wanted. He can't even hear that he's trapped in there for all of time and space. Klaus, no! Don't do it! What the hell? Lucas Franklin badge reflected. Yeah. All right. Take that man. We we don't have to call him the masked man anymore. We know who he is. Oh god. What the hell? Oh my god, everyone died. Oh no. It's just Lucas versus Klaus. PK nuts. What? For some reason Lucas couldn't attack. Oh, cuz he knows that it's freaking Klaus. Huh? Hmm? From somewhere, you heard someone call your name. Huh? Is this just one of those, like, survive for as long as you can things? 
Klaus. <gasps> it's our mom. It's got to be, right? It was. Hina was voice. I knew it. It failed to reach the masked man. Klaus. Stop this. You aren't Porky's robot. You're our son. Masked man looked around. Uh oh. Lucas, look out! <gasps> Flit, no! Dealt major damage to Flit. Oh crap! No, no, dude! Klaus, please remember. I've been looking for you for so long. Flit suffered. Oh my god, Flit's gonna die! Flit couldn't stand up. Klaus. You and Lucas are brothers. Oh. Can you hear me? Oh no. This would be a very sad ending if he does not. <laughs> You're Klaus. Your name is Klaus. You're our son. Please remember Lucas Klaus. Oh, and the sunflower. To think we would be blessed with two children at once. I bet they'll accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. Uh, I mean, kinda. <laughs> I'm sure they'll argue a lot, too. I would say a, li a little bit more than that, but yeah, sure. And I can see them helping each other out when they need it. Klaus. And Lucas. I bet we'll mix them up a lot until they get bigger. Klaus. And Lucas. Huh. How do you want them to grow up to be? To be kind, just like you. Oh, it's Flint. Oh, I was just gonna say. To be kind, just like you! Oh. Great, then it's decided. <sighs> Masked man gazed at Lucas. Lucas isn't sure what to do anymore. Nice man covered his ears. Lucas isn't sure what to do anymore. Nice man attacks. Nice man shut his eyes. Lucas shut his eyes tightly. Masked man attacks. Masked man gazed at Lucas. 
Klaus. 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 Come to your mother. You must be so exhausted. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going <laughs> to... Oh! His face looked just like Lucas's. It was Klaus. What the hell? Oh my god, is he killing himself? Since it bounces off of us. His fingers badge have flanked to the lightning bag. Klaus staggered towards Lucas. Klaus embraced Lucas. Lucas remembered Klaus's smell. I'm sorry it all turned out like this. I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm going to where Mom is now. Lucas, I hope we meet again someday. Bye. Thank you. Klaus gave his f Whoa, what? But why? Lucas, thank you. Klaus was just hasty, that's all. You'll forgive your hasty brother, won't you? All right, this is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Both Hinoan and Klaus have entrusted fate to you. Believe in yourself and pull that final needle. Nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dark dragon seal to underground the new friend. Now go. The dragon is waiting to wake up. Your life and the lives of all the people who believe in you. We will put it all on the line just to pull this final needle. Dude, what the fuck? That's so fucked. It's like we did it all and we just ended up right back where we started. What the f Dude, Porky is so fucked. He didn't even know Cla who Klaus was. Is 
Is this literally like... <gasps> what are the clay man doing? It's literally like the apocalypse. Oh, get- turn this shit off. Is he about to get bodied by freaking me? Oh my god, that actually happened. <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe he actually just got shot out of the sky. I can't believe Facade was a magic spy. What the hell happened? Huh? What? What? What the what? What? Huh? That's that can't be the end. He literally blew up the world? Huh? What? Did I do something wrong? What? the frick happened watch where you're walking can't you see where you're going oh no what the hell it's okay this isn't a dream it's a miracle a real miracle seems everyone's all right i thought everything was about to be destroyed but everyone's alive the only way to describe it is as a miracle how scary that was the definition of scary say are you it is me! Nanya! None your fucking business. Oh, you're okay. That's great. What a relief. Hey, everybody. Yen is over here just doing just. What? Nanya! Lucas said he wanted to meet you? What? Nanya, thank you so much for everything. For helping Lucas and the others. The world might have been completely destroyed had it not been for you. To be honest, I was so scared the moment Lucas pulled the flask needle. I did have faith, though. I had faith. But it felt kind of fierce so bad that I almost expected my entire body to blow apart. But as you can see, everyone's just fine. We've regained something incredibly immense. Don't know why, but I can't stop my tears coming coming out. What is this feeling? What could it be? Who is this? This is the first time I've ever seen you cry, cry, Kumtora. You're really cute now that I look. Oh, Nanya! Thanks. I feel so utterly incredibly thankful for everything you've done. All the people of this world are saved thanks to you. Thank you, Nanya. That was fun, Nanya. Don't forget us. Goodbye. Thanks. We sure had a lot of fun, didn't we? Thanks. And that was Mother 3. Huge thank you to Tomato and all the other legends who helped translate this game into English to preserve this masterpiece. If you made it this far, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this amazing ride with me. If there's any other games you'd like to see me play, let me know, and I'll see you all next time.